the Nelson Mandela Stadium, a 40,784-seater stadium that will bring you this FIFA Series clash where it is Algeria that take on South Africa's Bafana Bafana, Ningizim Africa. Prepare yourself for a spectacle of skills, determination, as well as the pursuit of pride as the Desert Warriors of Algeria collide with South Africa's Bafana Bafana in this spectacle that promises to bring us nothing but the very best when it comes to continental football. One team ranked number 43 in the world up against another ranked at number 59. One exited the 2023 Total Energies Africa Cup of Nations in the group stages and the other coming home with bronze, which is which? Kute Manigi Zindana Zombili. A good evening to you. Welcome to SABC Sports. Ikamangovusiwe intogazi ya wangobo anghambi ngetwa. Never alone, always with the best of the best, the cream that always rises to the top. <laughs> to my left, it is oh. 16 Vulavala. It's Theophilus, <laughs> Dr. Kumalo. Doc, yeah, and good evening to you. Good evening, good evening. And to the left of Dr. Kumalo is Coach Simpiwe Lulu. We know what she used to do on the field of play yeah. back in my time. <laughs> and now, of course, one of the best when it comes to analysis, learning is in Africa, and of course, also a coach of the game of football. But, Doc, let me start with you. Mm. We look at this clash between e Algeria and your foot in Ningizim, Africa. One would have to go back all the way to 1996. Do you remember <laughs> that game? Because a little birdie told me yeah. there's a certain someone here who mm. was in that game and maybe there was a penalty <laughs> in that encounter. <laughs> Tell me more, Doc. <laughs> Yo, coach. <all laughs> right. No, no, no. But oh, on a serious note, uh, yeah, 96 when we played Algeria, um, we, we, we got a penalty and I missed it. Uh, and they are not allowed to take the Chinese pants. But because Ben Shalan and Masoja, the late shoes came, Wang Pagamisa and McFish. But you know, you know what? Let's fix this. And guess what? Fish equalized, shoes got the winning goal. I was, I survived. And that's how the yeah. Opelis survived. Yes, what that's how it survived. Yeah. A bad day in the office. A difficult team to play against uh, because they play. Uh, uh, I would say African European type of football uh, because most of the players say you're trading in, in Europe. So I would like to believe with they still continue with the same culture even though Yes, and we will speak about game. <laughs> Coach, we look though at this Algerian team. They certainly have a point to prove in this FIFA series encounter because Umutu Abega, yes, they come into this clash on the back of a 3-2 victory against Bolivia, but they showcase out at the Africa Cup of Nations very disappointing for this team. It was very dis disappointing, uh, V, because they started the tournament uh, about number five, uh, you know, four actually in the CAF rankings and they crashed out uh, as part of the top five that actually crashed out Abazangiba Figuig semi-final, mm. you know, alongside your Tunisia, your Morocco and all of those countries. So you look at them and you say, is it uh, uh, the theme you're rooting that North African teams are struggling currently? They, are they in rebuilding phase? It's only Morocco that's looking very superior and all of that, um, though they didn't get success in the AFCON. But you can never... Um, shy away from their success and their resilience. As Doc says, Guti, they have the African-European mentality that says we cannot lose against certain type of opposition. They are very resilient in how they play. They are futuristic also in how they play. They've always been a, a, a team that dominates in Africa. You know, so I think it's going to be key for Babafana Bafana to know, Guti, even though this team didn't do well yeah. in the AFCON, don't look at them and say, Tina Snepronza, Babuyanga, Naluto, so it's going to be a walkover. Certainly not, because they've got players like your uh, Uzumbizang is French, Boneja, meaning Uzumbizang Opak I know Uzumbizang Opak Yeah, they've got such players that have got the experience in the team. They've been there longer in their team. And uh, and Maunga Tiwapega, every time we played them, dog, mm -hmm. uh, I think the latest results, uh, in 2015 and in 2013, 15, the last time Mazdala Nabo, 2015, we lost 3-1 to them. Mm -hmm. And Tuzo Palace got that one goal for us. 
Pumas and the other uh, goals. We even scored our own goal. We shall try. We shall try. We scored an own goal yeah. and then they scored the other two um, goals. So that shows you, Guti, a matchup between us and them is always tricky and is always hard simply because of the vast difference of the type of football that mm. we play against each other. And what I like about this FIFA series is that Basipa Andorra, who's ranked number 160 something, Le Basipa, mm. uh, another team that is ranked above us, mm, the ten top places 50. difference. Yes, you know, mm. uh, in terms of the FIFA rankings, which means the coach is also saying that team looked easy. Let me shock you also with another opposition because I'm a qualifier. We are still going to play against difficult opposition. Indeed, mm. and we will still come up against difficult opposition looking at the World Cup qualifiers for 2026. But let's look at the head-to-head -head of these two teams because mm -hmm. Umutu Begum, that's an in Africa, up against Algeria, pretty even one would say because there's a total of four clashes, there's a winner piece, and then there's two draws there between these two sides. But also when you look at that comparison, the last time these two nations played against each other is back in 2015. So we can't really use that, nah, that, that to nah. compare. There's so much that has uh, uh, changed. The game has evolved. Uh, even probably the, the, the laws of the game have changed. Uh, but the beauty of the whole thing is that uh, they meet South Africa that has got its like, uh, culture back. Because what we saw in the AFCON is almost the half of the team that played in the AFCON that is playing today. Mm. And they've been raving, these guys. I'm not sure whether it's, they're playing mind games, the Algerians, because they've been saying, wow, they admire South African football, the type of football we play. And I don't want us to read into that, because, I mean, they have to respond to, to, to the Algerians. They haven't done very well. The country's upset with them. Yes, of course, the last game they've won it, but they want these guys to do better. But then now the question is, coach, why would a top player like Marez decide not to play for this? I mean, for uh, in this game, you know, you ask yourself, is there harmony within the camp or whatsoever? Because there's no player that can just say, I mean, I'm going to well, we'll look at that one when we come back from the, ad, from the ad break, because it's a very similar situation to what we could say is a Lyle Foster situation, like in Ingsim, Africa. Mm -hmm. We have a Riyad Mahrez who captained the side during the Africa Cup of Nations, just saying, now, please do not select me for the team. I need to reassess. She does that in the Puma Elugu Africa Cup of Nations. It's not something to deal with for many of the teams. I guess, Tati Kier, for almost Jiga, we take a look at I'm starting 11, Rola Magdombo, Amabile. I can tell you, Coach Hugo Bruce going out with a very strong starting 11 here today. Today to counter the likes of Brahimi, the likes of Baghdad for this Algerian team. And we see Mshishi Tembazwani also coming back into the starting 11. Stay tuned. Hey, Tamzansi, welcome to a brand new season of BS Gaming Weekly. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Was born ready. Come on. Now we're stepping on it. We're going. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yes, I think our theme song should be We Will, hey, We hey, Will hey. Rock You. It's all fun and games with some of your favorite celebrities on VS Gaming every Sunday at 11.30 a.m. on SABC2. Also available on SABC Plus. SABC Sport for the love of the game. Yulimar Rojas is the queen of the women's triple jump and the face of Venezuelan sport. After hopping, skipping and jumping to silver at the 2016 Games in Rio, Rojas went one better in Tokyo, becoming her country's first ever female Olympic gold medalist. If that wasn't enough, her mighty 15.67-metre leap smashed a world record that had stood for 26 years. A year later, she bettered that mark at the 2022 World Indoor Championships. One of the most heavily fancied favourites in Paris, the question for Yulimar Rojas is not so much whether she can defend her title, but if she can become the first woman to break the magical 16-metre barrier.
Tonight, we bring you a FIFA series encounter between Algeria, currently ranked number seven in the continent, taking on the 10th ranked South African side. We look at Coach Hugo Bruce and he's starting 11 here today. I can tell you, only a single player from that Andorra encounter survives, and he's the man that captained the side against the Andorra, and that is Yenage Umunare. But we look at Lomdlalo, where Andorra, and I remember the commentary specifically at this moment, Michael Abramson speaking about how Andorra has not scored in six games and then this happened with yeah the last time they won Goss. was in, in two, uh, 2022 you know just after covid bona mechanic <laughs> that was the last time they won <laughs> and simply because they are ranked low uh, 163 i think and that's how far back they are because in europe the leagues that are there the teams that are there they are far above from them and for them to get that goal so early on it gave them confidence but uh, irreflection e score is not uh, um, e score is not the true reflection of the game and all of that mm. lapse of concentration doggy we said it yesterday yeah, also yes. Busoka's own yeah. this was lapse of concentration from Ugos because um, you know he controls the ball without the back foot mm. he controls it just underneath his body doesn't take it to the direction where he wants to go if mm. he wanted to open his body up to his left he could have opened his stance a bit more if he wanted to take the touch where he's the ball is coming from he could have done exactly that now you're asking yourself would you who was he thinking about because um but this was the change uh, in us uh, trying to find the equalizer dog yeah uh, this is a situation la where we we see now a mashiko playing right 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 up there and then mukwana finishing it off but again, look at the jersey number 15 that gave that final pass, you know, Monare. So mm. I must say... The player say, that makes it into the starting no, 11 today. Yeah, yeah, but uh, number 15. Number 15. Yes, yeah. number 15. <laughs> so, you know, uh, this is to show Munare, if you don't have a Mukwena, a uh, uh, Sitoles, you know, you, you've got so much depth. And this team, I must say, Guti, Basboni Silo Guti, in South Africa, if we really want to put a, our foot down, looking for that talent. Now, this 17 year old, uh, number 17, Mukwena, he's playing for Ilontos, it's a Kukune. It's a Kukune. It's a Kukune. Mm. And, I was waiting, and look how to she lose all that. I said, I don't know, Pegabo Chiefs, Pirates, Sundowns. There are other teams that have players. Umbanjo from Amazulu. Unbelievable youngster. Always positive. And look where we lose the ball in the final third. That means that build up attack, that combinational play, the understanding, it's unbelievable. And these guys, is their first game almost the entire 11. Mm. So that is progression for me. So from ninety six, And said, Wuti and I overall happy yeah. with the performance from this Bafana team. We do know that there were only two players in that starting eleven against Andorra that had played in that bronze final against EDRC. Mm -hmm. We look now though at the starting eleven he's bringing out in Amplange. Let's speak to that starting eleven. Okay. The players that he's got up front in the attack that will need to do the work for Enigism Africa in terms of finding the back of the net. I love that two coaches open-minded to say we're playing, uh, you know, multiple friendly matches. I've brought uh, more than 20 players there, 23 players there. All of them need a chance to play because sometimes you go to friendly matches and you realize, Guti, first match, um, let me play with my strong team as well because coach knows Guti, your ranking first team allows us to induct the players and I'm saying induct deliberately because it's players that Bebanganama kept most 80% uh, of the team they didn't have um, their first caps uh, into the national team and now because we are playing Algeria he says I'll bring in my my tried and tested mm. even though because of injuries Abanye and all of that but the core of that squad is there because uh, the center pairing Kulu is there Kekana is there they've played with each other go Afcon at some point even though Mvala Angeko Mudiba comes back and um, Moby has been coming in and off when Mudau is not there the uh, forever captain is there Williams. Williams and I think he's going to be key also today because he 
will be up against a striker that is very experienced and uh, that is Upagdad. And you look at our creative Umunar. When we saw Masongani play, uh, um, Uzuani, when we saw Masongani play, we were excited to say, Uzo was good to Uzuani Magapuma. Mm -hmm. Continuity yeah, is there in. of a num proper number 10 that loves going into the box, that loves playing the forward pass, that plays in the half spaces. So that's what I'm excited for. And more than anything, Reina's Dallas Cicious Nugumbona. He's been doing well at Stellenbosch, mm -hmm. and I hope he doesn't choke today, but he doesn't have a reason to choke because he's playing against D. And it's important for us to understand and the reason for that is because A squad are the ones that are the first pick. B squad doesn't mean you are less of a player, but you are able to bring that energy into the A squad and be able to say, I can start, I can start on the bench, I can change the game and bring more value into the game. All right, and that's in terms of South Africa starting 11. A coach mentions there that we've got Ekram Reynas okay. also starting up front. We've also got Ashwin Apollos in the starting 11. I guess, Tati Kefu, when we come back after the break, we're going to take a look at the Algerian starting 11. We see there that coach Vladimir making six changes to the side that secured a 3-2 victory against Bolivia. Let's take a quick ad break. We'll be back soon. Produced from recycled steel, the 2024 Olympic torch weighs 1.5 kilograms and is 70 centimeters tall. Echoing the importance of the River Seine to the Games, the torch design resembles ripples of water. The torch will be used to carry the Olympic flame from the origins of the modern games in Greece to the host city of Paris. This will include a 68-day relay across France, passing through 400 towns and communities before arriving in Paris on July 14, Bastille Day. The torch relay culminates in the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games on July 26, with the final torchbearer igniting the cauldron and its sacred fire, officially opening the Games of the 33rd Olympiad. Game On is all about sports, and sports is all about winning and team spirit. The Game On team has the lowdown on local soccer, Premier League, Bundesliga, and much more. We've got you covered on games, facts, and up-to-date statistics. Watch Game On every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. on SABC Sport DTT Channel 4. Also available on SABC Plus and SABCSport.com. SABC Sport, for the love of the game. Skateboarding used to be considered a sport for troublemakers in Brazil, and during the 1980s, it even became illegal in Sao Paulo, but is now a way of life for kids across the country and an escape from Brazil's challenges. Pioneers, including Sandro Diaz, led the way. But it's a younger generation, featuring the likes of teenager racer Leal, that have captured the imagination. Nicknamed Fadinha, the little fairy, Leal skated to silver when her sport debuted in Tokyo. Now a two-time defending world champion, Leal is on track to reinforce skateboarding's place at the heart of Brazilian sport. Coach Hugo Bruce making wholesale changes to the team that went up against Andorra, save for Munare, who makes it back into the starting 11. We look at the changes that are being made by Coach Hugo Bruce, and then you have to almost counter them to what we're seeing this Algerian team put out in terms of their starting 11. You spoke about the likes of Brahimi, the likes of Baghdad. Let's speak to this Algerian starting 11 and what it's looking like from a tactical point of view. I think uh, the coach kept some of the players that played in the Afghan. 
on, um, especially when you look at the captain. Dogi lo ya matala lo ya but kichimisi into an alapana as a striker because yeah. he scored three goals in three matches that mm. he has played, and at some point they almost won a match to go into the round of 16 in the last match that they played, but it was unfortunate for them. And I think uh, you look at the changes about Agazenzi. Look, Coach Mitlini, he still kept one player because they go 4-4-2 or they go 4-3-3 in their formation, and I think, uh, but. Uh, Pantaleb is the one that's uh, surviving in that midfield and at the back the two center pairing Ubashinjile the center backs uh, but he's left the left back um, at Nuri and Mandi who also scored mm -hmm. as the full backs that are there which means but he's changed uh, the goal scorer Lapayana uh, Ugori who was playing the right winger because it means Umandi is able to overlap, overlap. and go up and down and Lama changes are Ukochi Agasteleli see South Africa because we are good I say shy Shy. Mm. And Amash mm. Ama changes are when Zile when they in, in important positions as well. We are born and knows in Tamfagi Le Ufa knows in Ocho I Lugutas Lalegle and Buso Gusha Konguti and I Ul Pegi the Pench Lakuti Uzo Shinchaganjan um uh Umase Umjalu Kubek and Nogutu Uzo Spendulaganjan Tinamas Nembuz. Mm. I think I, th I think it's 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 the same what Hugo Bruce have opted for today. Because tried and tested. Tried and tested the first game and uh I think now, like Kukucha Shuguti, they, they're playing their A game, I mean, their A team. But uh, again, having said that, uh, looking at the South African uh, dressing room there, um, I would like to believe, Uguti, both coaches, I'm not too sure, Uguti, law is in Bonayo, Uit, Uzama, Uchela, Labafana, Uguti, Sinama Kimi, Wama qualifier, Amaning. And then in Abafana, Sian Funuk Bon Wootin is Okonu Param Sisanda in Wootinit Ningen and Lapana, Jongo Bon of Kutman, Lapana Mussel. He's been doing very well at, at Chipa after a loan spell from Orlando Pirates. I, I thought it's one of the players that uh, actually came up to say, Coach, count me in. Even though Begakon is quite in, but then he disappeared. But then this is the man that we want to see. Not knowing Coach Guti. Will the the, the 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 social factor in terms of the likes of Apolis Timbers one and Mayambela have an effect Guyana? Because Ultra Guti Bam Bam Jalele space in Agaichwala in Tiki Tak. Yeah, ngoba i pola le strain bosh ne pola elinye silchwala alfan. Alfan. Uma bengkaba ngati nshambe ngaba nengi ngalap. I want to go deeper though into that because umutu ya bega in terms of what's happened with the Gumbula Seningism Africa. Yes, we got to play for the bronze out at the Af Africa Cup of Nations. But when we look at how we got there, it was draws. Cape Verde draw. Nigeria draw going into a penalty shootout. When we get to the bronze final, it's another draw against DRC taking us then into another penalty shootout and the ability to find the back of the net. Let's speak to that because you look at the last five for South Africa, mm -hmm. it's four um, goals found mm -hmm. in, 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 in that instance and two against. Mm -hmm. When you look against Nigerian side that in their last five has found the back of the net ten times. I think um, it's the type of strikers we had. I think our go-to striker was uh, Umahopa, uh, Moran Lepasa, not having Lyle Foster there also impeded us a bit. But I love the fact that we only considered uh, twice two goals, you know, uh, going to. That's why uh, Amat Linshiti, uh, William Zabena were five and all of that. And also, uh, we scored even in those draws. Mm. That's what I loved the most. Even though we didn't go, go there and win about three, about four, it, it is impossible because mm. it's the best of the best in the AFCON. You won't find yourselves winning a seven um, uh, in a match, especially in this uh, uh, AFCON of, of in a, in a tournament of this magnitude, yeah. it was one of the yeah. best of course that uh, yeah. we got to see, Doc. So, so for me now, I think it's going to be key to see who uh, coach in Jungle Valley. Remember, um, he, before Urenas uh, came here and or Asu Yozali, yes, yes, okay. which yeah. means Guti, um, we, we are trying to, to explore and have more strikers that can give us goals. Yeah, quick prediction, coach draw to two, aye, one one. 1-1 one, one, draw all the way here in studio. Let's now take you through to the Nelson Mandela Stadium. We've got Michael Abramson in Zulu, uh, in English rather, not in Zulu. And we've got Oatile Jacobs in Tswana. <laughs> Siabonga Gakulus is me. If you want me, if you want me to commentate in Zulu, I'll...
at the Nelson Mandela Stadium. Not time for the home anthem, the anthem of Algeria. It's called Kasaman, which means we pledge. a thing of the past at the Nelson Mandela Stadium in Algiers, Algeria, on the Mediterranean for this fifth meeting between these sides. They've met at AFCONS three times before, and they meet today in a friendly. Algeria have won their last 11 friendlies, so that's ominous signs for South Africa. But South Africa's record recently against North African opposition has been pretty good. They drew with Tunisia at AFCON and they beat Morocco, who are neighboring countries, of course, of Algeria. The biggest country on the continent gained its independence from France in 1962 and a country of over 45 million people, 32nd in the world in terms of population. The rain falls, it won't put a dampener on proceedings. I think we can expect a very different match from what we saw last week against Andorra. With me in commentary is Watile Jacobs. OJ, great atmosphere building in the stadium despite the weather. Ponte Ferragello, Mike, Rico Panagello, Motueto, Mobaraki, Motetoko, Algiers, Jaco, Bonali, Nani, Las Copas, Africa, Borom. Matamiki, Mabotele, Hilian, Crankekana, Ronan Williams, Honi Jalo, Le, Monawaniko Mobi, Abrimo Posa, Lena Hone, Miho, Kuitimiri Satata, Rona, Ikram Rainers, Alimus Tropeng, Amolet Satin, La Humpieno, Lebala, Lemotaka, and Tulorello, Kaitimiri Sang, Tapla, Lebala, Leta, Motamo, Varikete, Dele Sume, Amane, forty thousand, Le Hofeta, four, Ekana Halo, four, Hotogam, four, Kyo Higo Bruce, Yon Teng, Hone di Puo Puo. Tema Afrika Borwa bana le jalo di kakang tsiri farlo kharenga gore amona yo a o tlatsa ma amora ga motshameko go khotsa jang ja ka dipego go tswa Tunisia ke ntse di tlhalosa gore ka gongwe a ka feletsa ga go le tsopa sa Afrika Borwa ja ka bona wa go dirwa tikolo so ya lede bana ba ka kona ga nya Tunisia amen ismail amen amen love ke bone ba ba tla bomba tsa baisa motshameko a go mpieno ba ka tese ka bobedi Ibrahim ga mmo go tshalo le Ronald Williams ke bone wa tleng go dira jalo tikolo so ya lede go etse gore mangwe tsa le bala go tswa kae go le bakae me go ntse go na pula ya ga makeke ta mothaka ri halo fa ile gore o kile wa buisa di buka tsa tswana pula e na monate pula e tleng e tlhoke jalo masenke monate wa yone fa e tshologa pula e fela michael re solo fetse mo tsabeko e tumedi sang we expecting a hamdinger of a game yeah i think so oj five survivors as V told you in studio, five survivors from that side that beat Bolivia in the very last minute last week. In fact, in the fourth minute of time added on, they're missing a number of key players. Mares, of course, withdrew from the squad ahead of this tournament. And also Slimani, who is their leading goal scorer of all time, also their most capped international of all time. He's not playing. They've got two other players who have withdrawn. Ben Sabaini, who played against Bolivia, has withdrawn due to injury. And Guri, who scored that winning goal for them, has withdrawn for family reasons. So they do have players who are sitting this one out effectively for various reasons. So it is a big game being played in rainy conditions here. The referee incidentally comes from Tunisia, which is a neighboring country. And that is the Algerian side in this beautiful kit that they have for this particular match. There is going to be a minute silence. We haven't been informed exactly for what, but we'll pause for a brief moment.
So the referee blows his whistle and very, very shortly we will be getting underway. Algeria in the white colours. We used to sing Bafana Bafana in white. We've got Algeria in white. That, of course, is the new Algerian coach, Vladimir Petrovic, who took over after AFCON when Jamal Belmadi resigned or had his contract terminated after a very, very poor showing where they didn't win a match. So the referee has a check and counts up to 11 and makes sure there are exactly the players that they need on the field. And referee Amin Luaf from Tunisia will blow this game into action. It is a friendly international. It is a chance for Bafana Bafana to show what they can do. Just one survivor, as you've heard, from that side that started against Andorra. That's Monare, 34 years of age. The spine of the team, incidentally, tonight of South Africa are players who are getting a bit long in the tooth, effectively in their 30s, some of them in their late 20s. No real youngsters in the side apart from Ashwin Apollos, who starts or makes only his third appearance in South African colours. For Nigeria, for Algeria, rather, nine different countries represented in terms of clubs that they play for in their starting lineup. 18 here is Amura, who plays in Belgium. And already this field looks as if it's absorbed quite a bit of water. But it's a good surface to be playing on. Ronwin Williams with a clearance. Falls here to Apollos. What can he do? Looking to link up field. Here's Ikram Reynas. A chance for him to impress. Seven goals already in the PSL this season. And linking nicely with Apollos. It's already a much, much pacier start than we saw last week. And beautifully set up by Tempa Zwane, making things happen as Bafana Bafana switched the play. Here's Mokwena, he was one of the stars of AFCON. Ball played in from the right flank, and it's a throw to South Africa on the attack early on. So, Coach Petrovic, Petkovic rather, who spent seven years as the manager of Switzerland between 2014 and 2021. He most recently coached at Bordeaux in France as well. Was given the job, let's see what he can do with it. Of course, he's opposite number. Who knows? This might be the last time we see Hugo Bruce in charge of South Africa. There's lots of speculation that he might be taking up a post at Tunisia in the days ahead. We will wait to see if that does come to fruition or not. Hopefully, Safa working very, very hard behind the scenes to keep Hugo Bruce because South Africa have some very, very key World Cup qualifiers just over two months away, away at, at Nigeria. And, of course, that home game against Zimbabwe a week later. So it's going to be crucial for them. But Ronwin Williams, 44th international for him today. Key man at the back. And given the error that Ricardo Goss made last week after just five minutes, he'll be anxious to keep a clean sheet. Will Ronwin Williams taking his time, now eventually releasing it upfield. Good control in the midfield here. South Africa looking to get the side moving forward. And it's Apollos who's seeing a lot of the ball. Modiba cutting inside, bit of a heavy touch, but he's still got possession of the ball. Needs to link with his midfielders. Monare releases it now to Mokwena, now wide to Papi Mobi, who we were told in the starting lineup was going to play at centre back. And OJ and I looked at each other and said, that's not going to happen. The ball now played wide to the near side and a shot that hits the bar. What a start for South Africa. That should have been a goal. And they should have put that in the net. Oshwin a policy would have been a dream for him. The man from Pulukwane City, and he scored there, would have been his first goal for South Africa, and he came so close. He's on the ball again. And now eventually, Algeria haven't been in the game so far with a chance to try and get on the ball here with their number 11, Brahimi, their captain, who's 34 years of age. But South Africa win the ball back again. The referee's blown his whistle, though and will bring them back. But wow, what a cross from the far side. It's Moby who played it in, and Apollos in the box strikes powerfully, but somehow can't keep his shot down. Just look at this, it pinballs in the box. It's a terrific strike. And so close to a goal, the goalkeeper would have been carried into the net with a ball. But it remains nil-nil. Real let off here for the Algerians, Gitun. Ball played forward now and eventually put out of play. What a start that would have been. 18 here, Grant Kekana sent off, of course, during AFCON in that one-all draw against Nigeria. South Africa's last three matches at AFCON were all penalty shootouts. They all ended in draws. Apollos this time loses the ball, needs help behind him. Now Mokwena going back to his goalkeeper. It's good confident start here from the visiting team. 
Their last international ahead of that match against Nigeria at the beginning of June. That is going to be crucial. And they've started well, have the South Africans. Ranked, of course, 59th in the world. They were 58th last week, and now in the latest rankings, after that loss against Andorra, they've dropped to 59th, 10th on the continent. Algeria are 7th on the continent. But Algeria, their form in the last two AFCONs, having won it in 2019 when they had a magnificent tournament. They then had a shocking tournament in 2021, didn't win a game. We eliminated at the group stage, and history repeated itself this year. They didn't win a game either, lost to Mauritania. Here comes South Africa again. Apollos makes a good run into the box in the centre. He's not found. Instead, it's a tight angle from Mayambela, and he decides to go for goal himself and puts it over the bar. Really, it would have probably been better served from that angle to try and play the ball square. You're not going to beat a goalkeeper on his near post from there. But it has been a good start. At this stage, on Thursday night, South Africa were already behind against Andorra, who'd scored only three goals in their previous ten internationals. It looks as if South Africa are very, very much up for this. And the home side, who have been very, very good in friendlies, they haven't lost any of their last 11 friendlies, as we've said, beat Bolivia 3-2, had to come from behind in that game. Now the ball finding its way to Buneja in the box. But South African defence does the job nicely. Benzia also pushing up as well. And this is Aubrey Modiba. So the rain still falling gently here over the Nelson Mandela Stadium. If you're interested in the name of the stadium, why it's called the Nelson Mandela Stadium, there's a story behind that. The stadium was, yes, incidentally, I think there's, I'll just pause, I think the referee's got a, a problem with some of his equipment here. And he just offloads to the fourth official who's from Algeria, interestingly enough. And it will be a free kick to South Africa. So the stadium was to be named after the former late coach Abdel Hamid Kermali, who led them to AFCON success in 1990. But eventually they decided to name it after Nelson Mandela because of his close ties with the country. Mandela had very, very strong links with Algeria. And as a tribute to the South African people and indeed to our great leader, it was decided to name the stadium the Nelson Mandela Stadium, which is a real good tribute. That's great work from Buneja. Releases the ball now into the center of the park, finding Brahimi. But the pass goes wide and goes astray. They're going to have to recycle it down the left-hand side. And they do that rather nicely, do the Algerians. They've got a lot of experience in their squad, in their starting lineup. One debutant, incidentally, in defense, Madani, who's 32 years of age. He is making his debut tonight. Here, there he is on the ball, the number 27. And now space being created. Acres of space down this near side here for Benzia. If they can find him, the shot from range. And that, I think, might have been heading on target before it was intercepted by Buneja. And in the end, he helped the South Africans there because he put the ball wide of target. Buneja, incidentally, is a man who scored some very, very famous goals for Algeria. He scored all three of their goals at AFCON. And he scored that goal that gave them their last AFCON title in 2019 against Senegal in the final. You see here, he doesn't really need to touch that. It's a good enough shot from Amura. And by touching it, he's just deflected the ball away from the goal. But Buneja, 30 goals in 68 internationals. He scores almost once every two matches. He's a very, very good player. Also scored against Somalia in a World Cup qualifier recently. 18 here is Kekana. And very, very confident on the ball in these early exchanges. Kuru going to Kekana. And he looks at his options. Now find the link men in midfield. What a difference is midfield looks with a man like Mokwena in there. And Monare helping him as well. Just looks a different team completely. But confident start. Nice to see South Africa playing in yellow. We're used to them playing in white. They played most of their AFCON matches in white. But Algeria have decided today they're going to use the white kit. And it's a very aesthetically pleasing kit that they are using today. This is lovely one-touch football. Now the ball making its way into the center of the park to Modiba. This is nice play from the South Africans, spreading the ball wide. Apollo seeing a lot of the ball wide on this left-hand side. Battling with Ait Nuri on that side and Gitun. But very, very confident in possession. Quite happy to go back into their own half to retain possession of the ball. 
And Hugo Bruce, well, we wait for the saga of what will happen in his future. Is he going to still be in charge of Bafana Bafana when they make that trip to Nigeria? Time will tell. We're hearing all sorts of rumors about that. And that's a story still to develop. But South Africa could easily have been 1 0 ahead. Oshwin Apollos with a strike in the opening seconds of this game. So nearly putting his team ahead. Last week against Andorra, none of the starting lineup had scored for South Africa. And the man who made a really good impression in that game, Elias Mokwana, who sits on the bench today, he really did impress. So Monare on the ball, one of the only player, in fact, to survive in the starting lineup. South Africa attacking here. Let's just see what develops from this attack. Easy save for the goalkeeper Zegba in his eighth international. Ten minutes gone, OJ. Promising start for the South Africans. They look confident. Nil nil. Bafana Bafana, Basimolo Teja, Katerina, Yachichumakala, Momotame Congo, Paukila, Wabana Piti, Horis Chesengue, Sesibo Hali, Kigamo Africa, Bora Simolo Tenka, Hone, Mekasolo Fela, Rabakarata, Wabana Bala Terra, Mole Balenga, Lele Tele, Tim Famarago, Hatata, Holy Tata, Nelson Mandela, Hakirate, Tataka Kiboni, Bagarata, Hokala Terra, Mole Balingle, Arbone Jaka, Basila, Tata, Kamara, Africa Bora. Arbonem Rembula, Tebo Homuquena, Kawana Lagaqua Petal Hema, what's up, Kalan Samega Motila Yahira, Baba Tabay Samega Janova, whatever Tiger Africa, but Amisha de Mayabella, Abaqua by Yatar La Comaraho, Abay Yatar La Comaraho Zebra, Awakita Comaraho Zebra, when I come to my Ketilena, Kawana Lagaqua, Bupiri Majoka, Western Cape. Utwa kako li kawana le la mitali mayambela morara ke tichere tuta kichwa na lwe na mak mayambela matenga nye ba putula ya tar tori masar matenga ko pepa chile pili ba kacha lo ba ba ipila ita na kaya Algeria ba ba ipila ita na kaya ya Nigeria the desert warrior se jaka ba itere. Rabone Jalo, Maposa, or Primo Diva Retolo Hakayone, Bafana Bafana, by Tap Kerever Mela Copili Hapitela Gajana Motaka, Africa Borana, Little Coleco, Dingwana Motame Congo, Alaula Motame, Africa Borana, Vitella Gajana, Nicomobi, Common Laga Comala Mulele, Quagiani Rabone, Sianda Kulu. Madame Tiba was a veteran of a country about one hour. Yakupili, more Sakapen Sabafana Bafana, Fera, Ubuil, Horesia, the Kulu. Lefasa, but an acquaintance, Costapen Sab, Matasanta Pretoria, Fera, Mona Yo, Hugo Bruce, Ponali Tumelo, Ponali Tepo, Molika Vadela Sian, the Kulu. Bonne, Baratra Chalo, Kakile, Comaraco, Mona Oma, Yo de Antiroqua, Italy, Costapen Saroma. Kerebe Matilia Ramadani Baboleka Yaka to Akomarajo, the Desert Warriors Baba Pitel and Balama Mamabo Suma and Liberaro, forty three, Muripalo Palonta FIFA, Nakaye, Algeria, May Africa Borabe Pitel and Balama Mamabo Suma Matano Liberovedi, Manika Yaka Jano Kilio Harbone, Captain Ibrahimi, Manika Jano with Terrabola Kalajano Kapas, Algeria. Africa Bora Bora Tibo Gajan, by Bora Matilda Yaga Brahimi, Ebe Tua Chalo Kam Shishi, Tembo Zwani. Wani Bela Mshishi, Bora Matilda Yaga Oswin, Egrab Reyners. Dira Sintek was stopping a sad stylist, Kofitela Gajana, Dino Dili Supa Mouline La Gare Monnayo. Dino Dili Supa Mouline La Gare Kakwa the DSTV Premiership, Bora Mshishi. Oswin Apollos. Oye Kwa La Kali, Na Kwa La Kumule Moura Goro Kutule Rite Seata. At the bar, Lam Likona, Len Naketeng, Karen Kabawa, Vita Morena, Kisses Diro and Jalo Kiosu in Apollo, Zafela, the Wakarika for the Takura Lahare, Sosora Seri, Africa Borai Kiwa, Hela Molika, and the Tonalile, Bangamoka, and the Baton and the Baba Osu in Apollo. Tira Tiro was dropping a sour rise and shine. Hokai de Jalo Poso, Katan and Jalo, Lena Kaya, Algeria, Baba Hudra Lebota, Comoraho, Lebota Latipe, Mosetron, Sanama. Me Hoya Jalo Mona Yori, Horeota, the Rim from the Territoriality, Tebu Homuquena Horomera, Tebu Homuquena, Mokirinia, why it's a Rodri Lemonaco, Fitile Murukin Territoriality, 
Raka fela ja ka tlhompo ke kana. Ana raga mo tshopeng se. Ne bile o tla go phala gore ga tlhompo ke kana no ya ga go ene a tshopiwa ja ka dilo dingwe dilo ngwe dino. Tsenda ga isana jalo. Mo se se tsege ja ka de pushka sawat. Arbone pilio. Arbone pilio. Aka go gale rumbo. Aka phatlala tsa le morago la tshopa se sa Algeria. O ka feta jalo musumo. Wa bela kwa mara kwa na le maposa maposa le nona di tago tere bokete. Me mat posa ke teke na utago chosa. Kakala nyal. Aba kwa. Bare goal kick. Bare goal kick. Na kwa kile mrembo la kile kwa ntere. Kakala. Bora kwa mukwa le kakala kwa ni. Fela wa itu kuru dira kwa dira kwa tafu kile. Rele Carvalho está fazendo a carne de morango lhe a cara patalata. Arbonia que leva todo o jalo que ele ganhou com o trabalho de bala. Ele ganhou três a zero com a pele. Ele mora no Monte Carlo, tocou morango mas ele ganhou com o Kitao se bora fa. Tá se bora com a África Boroa. Ele tá se bora com a África Boroa e se enfaga lá se mega sente ele com o nala. Amora. É que tem que nico mobi. Konti pela chalo ni kwa mabi una krometa, una krometa chalo ni kwa wana lela, amora kwenye wajaku kumi wa itu sio chalo kina kaya Algeria. Yaku kumi wa kile wa Afrika bora ba kudira lebota, chalo kwa wana ba kapteni wa bora Ronald Williams, kwa wana lelo fulete chalo, lebele kete chalo kwa kwa kabeha, mika na kuelewa, eni le pata Elizabeth, ili kwa eni na kabeha. Uto wa kuhuli kwa wanani. Uto wa kuhuli mo presidente wa une mo kato wa kila dina wa Afrika bora. Bangwe baba uto wa kako. Afrika bora. Bandiri lele bota kwa marako. Temba zwani. Ile ina likuwa pele kwa wane. Fela arba naro kileo. Kwi iti kwa nitropa. Tabu kwa nijo Afrika. Bako ti tata kwa nitropa. Bako ti tata kwa nitropa. Bako ti tata kwa nitropa. Bago bata choko ya kaboni, jambo bata bara romela tu lega choko kamera kumshishi, sikuta. Aba tu lega choko kaka tayari sega kore. Bifa la ukara kwa mlemo kwa kuna zasolo bifa la kileo, tena baswani. Kwa na alala kakuwa ekuruleni. Kana kwa mlemo kwa kore, kwa mlemo kwa kileo choko bata wa George Johannesburg. Mayo kileo ba chumi le chumi le jala kibrahimi. Mano diranti roka kwa kata. Arbona tsa khile wa tsa wa romela tsa khile ba kosa la ne tena ba tshola ya tarela aba rata loka ka ene ka botlhale Ronald Williams. Ke mo tla le bala gore fa na goro ga mo tlopeng sa bosetshaba. Khatlano le na ga ya Brazil. Ba le ba mo gorosa ka dinodi ka na tlhano. Mo metse tsengele se bomana le botlhano le ka wa Ronald Williams. Me se o se ka se se ka sa modiga o matla. Se se ka sa modiga mo wa a tsholetsa tlhogo go mpiene ke mo captain wa setlhogo. Kumole mokran keka, we ba jalo motile njaka ikram, ikram rainers. Kera taka mo kwa tabo kwa 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 pele, mo na yo. Haru mo kwa tadi rangi na Afrika bora taba mo na re. Baru wa romela fela ba tinselo to, ba kuto akali bilo jalo. Haru mo kwa tadi rangi na Afrika bora jam. Fela ba kwa kwa tadi rangi na komara komara Afrika bora. Ba na ba na ba kana ba kano jalo fomara kwa pele. Apolis. Mazera ya jana kuhusu sepe sisi dira kete mfo, arubu na jana Afrika bora umshish, temba zawadi, wangu bara la la temba, kasi tu mlelewa rofiti le mwaka dili sumo mara le kwa wale, umshish zawadi, arubu na tadi raka wale, mudiba, akakoka ni ruma, arubu na kuku timu kadi kota, kuku timu kadi kota, kake tse Afrika bora. Sabeko abone, kwa wana nete ya itume de sarafu tala raja na kutoka fela kwa mtazame kwenye ya Afcon, kwa fela raja na mta kare kusingwe sisi mta sisi bora angona le kasi, ba wewe chosa kwa mara kwa karibuni jalo madani, sabeko la mtile ni raja zetu ba wata simu le kile kwa mara, sabeko la fan kwa la bagosola de tini. Gitan, wai pon sa barat sa kilaway sa kai.
Bonetta. Kala Afrika Bora Bokara Gotsinya Kileo Loto Baba Toka Yone Kalebelo Kamora Kwa Afrika Bora Arbone Chalo Mayambela Kwa Kutwa Kalebelo Kwa Kutwa Kala Itza Mekala Chalo Motile Nga Kotoko Baba Irumela Mbola Kutwa Lade Tine Fela Baya Terla Kamora Kwa 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 Aye tenori, yao dirantiro kwa ndege ya manyesi mani kwa ingilani, muna yao wa aye tenori. Mtu tena suma mabidi iti fitile noto Algeria, noto Afrika Borwa, Afrika Borwa. They started like house on fire. Absolutely, they did. OJ, it's been a cracking start from the visiting team. They've had the best chances. Oshwina Polis has hit the. The bar very, very early on. They had that free kick from Mokwena, which I thought the goalkeeper just fingertipped over the bar, but the referee didn't agree. They've had that shot from Mordiva from range. And what's also interesting in the Bafana setup is the balls that have been played out of defense, those long balls, and they've got willing runners in Reynas and in Apollos to pick up those balls upfield so they can actually bypass the midfield a lot this is the captain brahimi doing some good work for algeria williams needs to react that's a great bit of goalkeeping he had to come out and he blocked the shot because algeria were in really for the first time that they'd got in behind the defense that man number 18 amura got in there nicely and it was excellent goalkeeping by williams brilliant awareness to come and narrow the angle because otherwise he would have been a tap in but now the game's starting to be stretched. Here's Brahimi again, setting it up for the shot to come in. Potentially, it's a brilliant goal. That is a brilliant goal from Yassin Benzia. Only his third goal for his country in his sixth international. And that time, South Africa losing the ball going forward. And a very, very quick counter-attack. And Benzia, the man who plays in Azerbaijan for Karabakh, the 29-year-old, finds the net after 22 minutes. And South Africa have conceded only twice in their last seven internationals. Concede here to Yassin Benzia, who also incidentally scored the middle goal against Bolivia last week. It's a very swift counter-attack set up by the captain, Brahimi. And the defence stands off a little bit. They don't go for the ball. They give him space. You can see here Grant Kekana just standing off Mokwena as well. And it's a left-footed shot into the bottom corner that Williams can't save this time. Very good finish. And Algeria leading here by one goal to nil midway through the first half. In fact, it goes through the legs of Grant Kekana. And for new coach Petkovic, he'll be delighted with that. A second goal in as many internationals for Benzia. And it's Algeria who have not started the better. But they find themselves ahead on 22 minutes. And for coach Hugo Bruce, well... His side could have been 1-0 up so early on, wasn't to be. And now they have to come out and chase the game as they had to against Andorra last week. I can tell you at half-time in their last six internationals, the scores have been level with Bafana Bafana. So if that continues into match number seven, South Africa will find a goal. And they've actually played some very good football. They don't really deserve to be behind. Two bits of swift counter-attacking from the Algerians. One in which Ronwin Williams came out and made a brilliant save. But then, after possession was lost upfield, it was oh too easy for the goal scorer. Now, how does South Africa respond to this? This is Moby, wide on that far side. They need some movement in the box. The Algerians strong here on the ball and just about able to clear it in a dangerous position. The captain Brahimi, 68th international for him today and 68th appearance. And he's done some very good work. It was his assist to set up the goal. Now Gitun moving it forward. Relatively inexperienced at this level. Well cut out. Ball kept in play, I think, just. No, it wasn't. By Mordiba. And Hugo Bros wears a wry grin on his face. Well... It's difficult to tell from that angle. The linesman says the ball was out. Hugo Bruce doesn't like the decision. Man who won many plaudits in his days playing for Belgium. They ended fourth in the World Cup in Mexico in 1986. In all, he earned 24 caps for his country in his playing days, which are long since passed. 
Bentaleb getting a bit of a talking to here from the referee. A man who plays in Lille in France. He's born in Lille in France. He's been playing for the international team since he was 19 years of age. In 2014, made his debut. Also played at the World Cup in 2014 for Algeria. They now go long, looking for the head of Buneja. He wins it in the air. South African defence needs to be careful. Suddenly there's a bit of space, and this is Mandi trying to get in. Good defending this time. And the ball put out of play, but Gitun with ball in hand. Looks for a teammate to throw to. There's not enough urgency there from the South African defence. And now the ball into the centre. Needs to be set up. Lovely shot with the outside of the boot. Just over the bar. Excellent effort from Amura. Man who plays for Union St. Gilwas in Belgium. The home country, of course, of Hugo Bruce. And Amura looking to curl that into the top corner. His balance was a little bit wrong. But look at the space he's, they've got here. And he tries the shot from the edge of the 18-yard box. Nice effort. It would have been a fantastic goal that he found the net there. Just unable to do so. So Algeria starting to get into the game and starting to create chances. And Bafana Bafana, who was certainly on top for the first 20 minutes, they didn't take advantage of that situation. They didn't find the net. And now they find themselves chasing the game. But there's plenty to suggest there's a lot of reward for South Africa going forward if they continue with these tactics. Yes, Kekana. Modiba, or rather Polis. Beg your pardon, into the centre. And space being created. Referee saw a foul committed there. The referee from Tunisia, of course, a neighbouring country of Algeria. Interesting that he should be given the game. And the foul here on Ikram Reynas means a free kick, which South Africa have taken quickly. Apollos looks at his options, tries to thread that through the eye of the needle. And surprisingly, it's cut out. Gitun playing it forward for Algeria. Well controlled in the centre. But now a bit of space. Ait Nuri man from Wolverhampton Wanderers went on loan at Wolves in 2020 the deal was made permanent in 2021 for 9.8 million GBP and he's on a five-year contract at Wolves who were recently knocked out of the FA Cup in the quarterfinals by Coventry City of the Championship in a huge upset Algeria just looking to build again down this left-hand side they've got men in the box and the cross is blocked but at the expense of a corner and it just signs now that the home side is starting to find their range starting to find their opportunities in this game an Algerian side who did very very well when they hosted the Chan tournament at the beginning of 2023 they didn't concede a single goal in that entire tournament played six matches And a big upon they, they didn't win the tournament, they got to the final, they lost on penalties to Senegal in that final, but did particularly well, winning all their group matches 1-0 against Libya, Ethiopia and Mozambique, beat Cote d'Ivoire in the quarterfinals 1-0, beat Niger 5-0 in the semi-finals, and then lost on penalties 5-4 to Senegal in the final after it ended 0-0 after extra time. So Algeria have hosted some big tournaments, of course, won the AFCON in 1990, which they hosted when they beat Nigeria in that final. Now they look to go route one this time. Easy for Ronwin Williams. But this man is a real handful, Buneja. So I say he scored all three of his team's goals at AFCON in the one all draw against Angola. He scored after 18 minutes, scored both goals against Burkina Faso. The second of those in the 95th minute to earn his side a draw, but then they lost to Mauritania 1-0 and were eliminated from that particular tournament. They've won World Cup qualifiers against Somalia and Mozambique as well, and they sit top of Group G on six points. Guinea at home and Uganda away are their next two fixtures, both in June, while South Africa will be travelling to Nigeria and hosting Zimbabwe. Modiba, Kekana. Just slowing it down to walking pace, trying to draw the, the Algerians out. You can see when the ball does move on the surface that it does leave a trail of water. And that's a nice pass from Mokwena, trying to set up an attack. Apollos brought to ground. I think the Algerians are starting to realize that Apollos, even for his 22 years, is a real handful. He's got a lot of pace, and they need to stop him every which way. So nearly at his first international goal today, early on. In fact, should have done so. Here's Kekana. Modiba. Those two 
doing very, very nicely in combination. Or played out wide. Suane coming back just to help out. Now Mokwena sending it wide to Moby on that far side. Needs some control as well to keep the ball in play. In fact, he didn't keep the ball in play. The linesman on that far side judging that he was out of play when he headed the ball down. But this is some neat skill here from Modiba. Very nicely, just waltzes past Amura. And Algeria will clear their lines again. So plenty of promise. I think there are more goals in this game as things stand at the moment. Reina is doing some good work to come back and win the ball. And now that should be a free kick. And the referee might choose to take some action here against the Algerian player. Buneja talking to him sternly. But with that goal, Oje, I suppose the game is nice and open and it means South Africa have to come out and chase. I think we're about to see the first yellow card of the game. Me Africa Borale for Bastava Comara, who can really not see for the Fela Motulete, who Calica Casella Matulete, who Calica Casella, Africa Bora Arbonesi and the Kulu, Samigala Motelena, Hamana House Pinky, Mahoe Dira Qua, Parliament, Africa Bora Pinky, Kekana Arbonne. Champions <laughs> Young Africans, Moma Felonga, Beke, Hopala, or Kilakatolanka, La Mesameco, Yadi, Cotta Final, Letta, Kaisado, Kamutama, Kitilema Posa, Anatana Calabasa, the Telefella, Cora, Silta Comaraho, Baho, Tajano, Pumpunia, Calabula, Banaba, Nakaye, Ya, Algeria, Fela, Africa, Cora, Caratola, Comaraho, Avasia, Kiri, Copala, the Tibo, Total Grand, Michali. Apollos, you get it, let's send the ball up. Chaba Monare. Simon Otsai, Kwa Stopen, Saram Chomani, Kwa Jomo Cosmos. Yara Atoko, Aliba Kwa Stopen, Sada Clever Boys, Safets. Hotu M4. Abona Jalo, Gestopa, Saolano Pirates. Ratolo Gajalo, Kaino Komora, Hokile, Ratolo Gajalo, Kaua. Balika Waya had the desert warriors. Hell Africa Bora Baba Patelet Sagora by Busset Jalo Motelena Zemba Cobra Nasi Hone Motamicon Catalan Bolivia. Hella Manasina Rompiano with Jalo Monico Tenga Monayo Zepa. Helena Toga Jaloca Mandi Harbor Ebrahim Motela Quede. Africa Bora Hudanga Quede. What I'm Shishi about Kitsa Pere Jaquala. Quella Cati. Et on a mana. On a si fela. Yo ta di ranseo. Se poi Africa burra fela ja galina la ga quelle caia. Pemba. On no san no yan ta ya Africa burra le cale caia di no. Mushishi. Pemba zwani. Africa burra ke ore le carbaine le tsara bontle quelle. Meseo, como fell on Jolletati, Saba Muela, Bonamota Catilena, Ekram, Iba Motelena Tembozwani, Abona Mona Quatoqua Michali, Tembozwani, a Fedeleta Tiro, a Simulu Ting, a Fedeleta Tiro, a Simulu Ting, 
Yali Kalekana Janong, Wana Afrika Bora, Wana Kaya Algeria, Wana Bafana Bafana, Wana Wittumela Mopan Kenya, Skopas Afrika Bora. Janong, Utero Hotel Alero Feta, Mosameko, Utero Hotel, hotel Alero Feta. Le bello l'inter le bona che ha solo fatto la giano di tre rotta tra le rofetta. Stoffo se tu amuro 6 si ha giano qua o 10. Balika rubu a Leone, balika con Isabella con Tocco Morra con Reset Warriors. Ora con le mocha, batta il Kiba, Africa Borra, ma è mica di tetta qua. Ma è mica di tetta qua. Ma è mica di tetta qua. Ara boleh jalan mandi. Boleh bawa jalan mungkin bukan payah lepas kalau bater jalan mana apa yang terlep. Kalau bayi semula kape kamera aku, mesti nanya kamera mandi. Ia di rantai rokok skop pensa via real kuat Inggrani. Mibilan usit sekatan on jalan lena kaya Bolivia. Fa berapa fanya mesti mahu kuat bawa fiti lengkap di nol dele taruh kau di lepedi. Fa berapa fanya kau di nol dele taruh kau di lepedi. On usit semua mesti mahu kau nyawa mana yang mandi. Bentaleb, we see more lamotele nyaga mandi. Arume la pili tele kopele. Chote kaka kwanche. Agona meurile pili o chote kaka kwanche we chote kaka kwanche. We na amura. Ona lika we tu la katoro fela lamotele kanyuka kore akela pili a we na Sydney papi nyukomobi. Kila na muri buke nta mamelo di sandals. Il a fait un coup à Stelis. Rajana au Kakwa Babina no Kobo Rajana en Penoja. Et là, Nakotifa. Fait la voie de la Kobo Rajana Afrika Bora. Stop nonsense. Aba le Kobo Rajana 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 Kobo Aquí tenemos a Karibu Zeta como Rajo Kusinene. Me fue a la Obonti, se convirtió en la Raja de la Jorre. Va a poner a Bunti, ya va a saber que se convirtió en la Corina, un código a gente de su mamá. John Chus Musueu, a mí me gusta el Europa de la Cajiso, con 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 el Europa de la Cajiso, Tembo zani, akadi na fileta dirlesio. Adaboni chalo likawa na la jito. Yo direnti ro kwa fora kwa skapa nsa mes. Pentale. Ba ya kwa pele, ba ba itaba itabela kwa pele. Adaboni afrika bora ba kutibu kajam. Kile tamu kwa chalo kwa amura. Abaru mala mala ba kuzola nite ne. Kila ba kora kusirele tsa kwa isirele tsa sente. Kila nyuko mo biya ba tsa kile. Abaru eti galoto, kora eti galoto, bicho jalo kape kabrahimi, pata na kile bako sala dite ni. Afrika bora mama tana kote mtu rangi yare mele la kuhuana, wena bentale, kile kopo na chalo la police, wiba mtu rangi yake temba zwani, temba, tempo, hope, arubu na tadi rangi kuhileo, eni tume galamu kama post. Oh Michali, abaya na chaga la Afrika bora, abaya na chaga la Afrika bora wata chalo penaje. Fela mtiri kanya kwa nchini karata ya kwa mchele wa kichomole mo, kichomole mo wa kwa mchele karata isuruana ili karata ya mubedi ya mtameko yanta ya Afrika bora. Kichomole mo kwa nchini kana wa mchele jalo karata isuruana, mtameki wa maloba kapa sa amatax. Tame kete amatax pilihana leba koko matatan tenga Pretoria me tame kala sanda uskajana kakona kule mwa kule kimo tame kiyo tame kete tame kile kila kwa dina umoto ropongi leno tifera kakua mote mshate wa Republic ya Afrika Borwa kakua the Jacaranda City tame ntaba mamukali jaka iteke chwani baisi mula jalo kwa marako baiba jalo mote lenyaka matani Señaló yo, 
Afrika Borwa fela ba khona go tswa gape ka yone pele wa Algeria. Bantsi ba kokota go kwa pele ba batlatsela go ya kwa pele. Fela Afrika Borwa e tswa diletsela. Fela Afrika Borwa e tswa diletsela a ba tla phunyeletsa fa. A ba ba ka se khotlo. A ba ka se khotlo Sydney Mobe. Ya go tswa tshalo ke mo captain Ibrahim. Ya go tswa tshalo ke mo captain Ibrahim Khilio. Tsamegali khutswa nyane. A ba romela tsa ka go tsala retene. Oh Batile got a good coach, Africa Bora, Mokilinio. They are also like a country for the Tatello and Tatello Yaba Fara Bafana. Yaroto Sale Tatello Yaba Fara Bafana. Reta Mele Metotel Sumamane, me Metotel Metano Yabo Fellow, Yakaroyanta, Quarayan Hone, Kohau Fitata, Quarto Hone Kakala, Michael. Brilliant team goal by the South Africans. They really, at the time when Algeria was starting to get on top of the game, it was excellently done. Zwane involved in the build-up as well. Mayambela will be credited with the assist, but Zwane's goal, the first time he scored for the national team since Namibia, that 4-0 win at the beginning of AFCON, when he scored twice in 15 minutes. He's now got 10 goals for the national team. Today is his 45th appearance, and there he is, Mshishi doing the business here with an outstanding goal and they're working hard as well to protect the ball and he joins an illustrious list of names mark fish john shoes mushweo sean bartlett and tuso pala as the only four other south africans who've scored against algeria in four previous meetings fish and mushweo did it of course way back in 1996 in south africa in the quarterfinals of afcon John Shushmoshwe, of course, no longer with us. Sean Bartlett in February 2000 in a one-all draw at the AFCON group stage in Kumasi. And then Tuso Pala against Algeria in a 3-1 loss in January 2015 at the group stage of AFCON. They also drew 0-0 in a friendly between that. Moby saying to the referee, don't take action against me here. The referee might take other views as Boneja is the man taken to ground. And just three minutes before half time, I did say to you when Algeria scored that South Africa have been level at half time in their last six internationals. So it's hardly surprising that South Africa have leveled matters. It's not the mentalist in me, it's just what's been happening in the past. I can tell you also, South Africa have now broken their pattern with that goal because listen to this. How astonishing is this? First game of AFCON, they didn't score. They lost to Mali. They scored in the second game, didn't score in the third. I'll break off as Amura takes the side forward. Good defending by the South Africans. So, score, failed to score in their first match, scored in their second, didn't score in their third, scored in their fourth, didn't score in their fifth, scored in their sixth, didn't score in their seventh and then scored last week so if you continue with that pattern of them scoring in every second game they should not be scoring tonight but tempers one has broken that pattern so they've scored back to back effectively for the first time since way back in 2023 so that's something they've got off their back grand kekana in the book today for south africa as i say got sent off in that match against nigeria at afcon one of the hard men in the South African side, Nakulu, at the back, looking for options, sent it across the park. Modiba has had a very good first half, finds himself free on this near side. Apollos should have been on the score sheet. Kekana just knocking it about to his goalkeeper, who conceded today. The 46th goal he's conceded, uh, Ronwin Williams in his 44th international, he concedes on average just over a goal a game. And the atmosphere here is electric, even in the rain over the capital of Algiers, the largest country in Africa. The largest country in Africa used to be Sudan. And then Sudan in 2011 split into Sudan and South Sudan, which is now the most, the newest country on the, in the world. That was in 2011. And that meant that Algeria took over as the biggest country in Africa. And the fans were there cell phones and the torches on as well creating a fantastic atmosphere in the stadium real friendly environment between south africa and algeria even though it's competitive on the field 
And they're certainly enjoying themselves in this friendly international. Algeria, incidentally, only one win in their last four matches. Since... There we see just an incident off the ball here. Not really sure what happened there. Oshwin Apollos wanting to take the ball forward. Not sure if it was something thrown from the stands. Really bizarre incident here. And there'll be some time added on as a result. It didn't seem as if any of the South African players touched the Algerian. And coach Petkovic just considering options. Only two minutes to be added on, but of course there'll be a bit more time than that because of the stoppage here. And they're all just arguing the case with each other here. Let's see if we can see what happened. Well, this is the goal. It's beautifully struck by Yassin Benzia, the 29-year-old from Karabakh in Azerbaijan. His third goal in his sixth international. This is South Africa's reply. Brilliant goal. Tempo Zwane had to put it in because Reynas was offside. So if the ball had reached Reynas, the flag would have gone up. But Zwane was onside and he was able to finish it. I must say, this is absolutely bizarre. I don't know what the incident is and what's going on, but... We'll wait and see. I think it might have been an object thrown from the stands. And if so, that's particularly unfortunate just a little bit of ice and some medicinal equipment being provided to the player plenty of support for the Palestinians of course in Algeria as we're in the second minute of stoppage time but there'll be a bit of time added on as well and those young Algerian fans be enjoying the football that they've seen so far it certainly has been a much more pulsating game than the game we saw last week now have a look at this again oh he runs i think he collides with the referee initially but surely not enough to to get a head wound mandi is the man aisa mandi There in your picture, but this is a very strange incident. The man, in fact, who was receiving the attention was Amura, man from Union Sengilwas. And he's going to go off and just make sure that he's all right. They've got to do con concussion checks on him as well. And time will be added on. So we're in stoppage time at the end of the first half. So Algeria, since losing in a friendly international in, in November 2022 against Sweden. They went 19 matches unbeaten until losing to Mauritania at AFCON in their third group match. So that, in fact, is their only loss since the start of 2023. Quite an incredible record that they have. Amura is going to come back on shortly. He's got to go off the field for 30 seconds because he did receive treatment on the field. So that's the new rule. You've got to go off for 30 seconds but now South Africa looking to grab another goal late in the piece but just a, a little bit of time to be added on for that stoppage for the injury to Amura who looks to be okay now and I think he'll be glad that half time is imminent because then he can receive the attention that he needs 29 is Bentaleb 51st international for him today Bentaleb he earned his 50th cap for his country last week against Bolivia bit of sloppiness at the back South Africa win the ball back can they capitalize here they've got yellow shirts all over the park just needs to try and find a free man he's reached Modiba but it's over his head he's gonna to have to work to keep the ball alive which he does do does well to recycle possession Kekana picking it up again and South Africa will go again Mokwena Apollos well they've rather wasted an opportunity they've gone backwards in coming forwards Modiba again, slowing things down. I think the referee might well blow his halftime whistles very, very soon. And for the seventh match in a row, South Africa will go in at halftime level, which is quite an amazing achievement. The last time they were not level at halftime was that game against Namibia when they, when they went in 3-0 up at halftime. Since then, they've been level at halftime against Tunisia, Morocco, Cape Verde, Nigeria, DRC, and last week against Andorra.
So just seconds remaining here. It's been a very good first half. It's been played at a nice pace despite the weather conditions. South Africa win the ball back again. Can Bafana Bafana do something late in the piece here to try and find the net as they clip it forward? Now they need men in the box. Their men arriving in the box. The angle's tight. Oh, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. When he scores one, he scores two. He did it against Namibia. He's done it again, 15 minutes apart against Namibia, 15 minutes apart today. What a goal for Temba Mshishi Zwane. And Mandela will look down. The spirit of Mandela will look down on this man. South Africa are not going to go in at halftime level. They're going to go in at halftime ahead. Time to shine the boots. What a goal this is. You would have given him no chance of scoring from this angle. How brilliant is this? Cuts inside, tightest of tight angles, off the underside of the crossbar and in. Brilliant, brilliant finish. Swan has now got 11 goals for his country in his 45th international. He scores with the right boot. He scores with the left boot. He doesn't stop scoring once he's on a run. That is an amazing goal. And the bench celebrating it in big numbers. There's barely time to kick off now. Well, that goal coming effectively in the 49th minute. His first goal came in the 34th, so 15 minutes apart. Exactly the same distance against Namibia when he scored in the 25th and 40th minutes, 15 minutes apart. Talk about history repeating itself. It's astonishing. South Africa lead 2-1, and for the second week in a row, Algeria will have to come from a 2-1 deficit if they can. They did it last week against Bolivia. They're going to have to do it again. How much more stoppage time is this referee going to add on? But I think South Africa will be grateful for the fact that there is stoppage time because it really has been a half punctuated by some excellent goals. A brilliant finish by Benzia on 22 minutes. A superb team goal scored by Zwane in the end. And then the most astonishing of finishes from the tightest of angles with his left boot, curling it into the, into the goal, past goalkeeper Zogba. And unless Algeria can score again, South Africa for the first time in seven games will go in at halftime ahead. The whistle sounds. What an ending to an incredible first half. Bafana, Bafana, well, they were criticized for their performance last week with effectively their B team. You can't criticize their performance today. They have been magnificent in this first half. And they lead through Zwane's goals on 33 and 48 minutes to Benzia's reply. 2-1 to Bafana Bafana at halftime in the rain, but nobody's getting wet. Game On is all about sports, and sports is all about winning and team spirit. The Game On team has the lowdown on local soccer, Premier League, Bundesliga, and much more. We've got you covered on games, facts, and up-to-date statistics. Watch Game On every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. on SABC Sport DTT Channel 4. Also available on SABC Plus and SABCSport.com. SABC Sport, for the love of the game. The top flight outfits are adamant that they are the great masters of the game. Well, there's an opportunity for Lodge. Does he see it? He does! Chalamile! Now, good curling ball from Bassadin. But the junior teams refuse to shake and break. Thwarted by Peterson, and then cracked into the top corner. Parity for Kendrick Stars. The moments of upset are back again in the battle of 32 teams. Surely a shot here, deflection, goal! Donda Stars leading to Monama! This is the Cup of Dreams, the Netbank Cup. Orlando Pirates are the 2023 Netbank Cup champions. Experience it live on SABC TV channels and SABC radio stations. Also available on SABC Plus and SABC Sport.com. Hashtag, we love it here. Proudly brought to you by SABC Sport.
What's up, Poopers? Tune in for the freshest vibes on NBA Live. Live. Your ultimate basketball lifestyle show in Mzanti. On this week's episode, we chat to Pretty Ugly about all things basketball related. Basketball and hip-hop are like brother and sister. And we also feature a special performance by Pretty Ugly performing his song, Poto NBA Live is on Sunday the 17th of March at 1pm on SABC2. Well, it was Benzie that found the opening goal for Algeria in the 22nd minute. And then in the 34th, Mshiga Bala finding the equalizer for South Africa. The man came back once again in the 45th plus five minutes to find the goal that gave South Africa the lead going into the halftime break. We've often said that in their last six matches, they went into the halftime break, the South African side even. But for now, they lead by two goals to one. Mshiga Bala, the first time ever, scoring a brace with his left foot. He scored before with his left, but the first time that he gets a brace. Coach, the first 45 minutes in your thoughts. I think it's a little bit of a shika bala, 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 it's a little bit of a I think um, it's, it, it's exciting to see Bafana Bafana from minute one continuing where, where, they, where they left off from the AFCON. Because we are not playing Minos, we are playing a big team mm. that has a high profile in Africa. They are ranked seventh in mm. Africa right now. And that tells you, Guti, uh, we are improving. We are no longer building, we are progressing, and uh, we are doing it in style because Eli Napiet is so confident how we keep the ball. Um, I mean, you look at how uh, Algeria was pressing us high, they realized we are keeping bo the ball even better, then they dropped back. And them dropping back, now they're going in six and sevens because look at how we are rotating Ipolo mm. dog. We yeah. are keeping possession, we can't go forward, let's go sideways. When we go forward again, this is what we are able to produce. Apollos comes in at the right time. He stays wide. We are Johnji Ran Magangi and Lapana for him to hit the crossbar like that. I think I had a pan and him surveilling it. Mau Paga took a box, especially closer to the penalty spot. Aubula Lukipa, you place it because I mean this is the situation that I find himself. I mean the keeper is few meters away from him, so just place the ball. But I think maybe it is structured an opponent in front of him. But having said that, I must give credit to the boys because Apolis, mm -hmm. Manyambela, mm -hmm. Reynas, we thought probably they might find it difficult to play, to play for, yes. for, for, for Reynas. But no, they are showing now, now the true colors of what is South African players made of. And I must give them credit because Kunala coach. Algeria was forced to go backwards five times. Mm. They couldn't come they out. Couldn't consecutively. Mm. Consecutively, ne? And then on its own, during our days, we were pumping at the back of the Vaseline. How to teach? What did you say? Man, the game is evolved. Mm. We are forcing them to play the Give. long ball. You know, we have to give Hugo Prozzi credit. credit. Credit because. Words, uh, his game against Andorra, and now it's, it's totally different. But it different, shows you yeah. that it's a man with a plan because he did say Andorra for him was an opportunity to try out yeah. those players that haven't had an opportunity. But that's not because there's a diamond there in South Africa, but that's not a vantable kupai. Speaking of the diamonds, let's talk to this coach because although Inningism Africa started the stronger of the two sides in the first 45, South Africa went on to concede a goal in the 22nd minute. Let's speak to this. And, and, and how we concede the, 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 the goal, we pushed numbers going forward. We didn't have the rest defense because um, they scored the goal in 12 seconds. Uh, in the game of football, they say to you, the, the, it's a matter of time and space. Mm. How quickly do you get to the ball and how quickly do you create space or how quickly do you score? And Algeria gave us time. For you to not concede, you need to win the ball in five, close to four to five seconds before uh, the opposition punish you. And it took us 12 seconds 
for us to transition from Lapaya Guti's Temas attacker, Sakhulega Guti's press at the first point uh, closer to the ball, Sabayega Badlule. Remember, they are not piecing passes together. Mm. They got wide and then we didn't have numbers. Also, Lapaya Nukrant could not commit because Otebuho was behind yeah. um, a player. Yeah. And, and, and he's sitting there and he's saying, if I commit, I'm going to, 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 to cause a penalty. Mm. No grant is saying, let me stay on my feet as long as possible. That was a good orchestrated goal by Algeria in that transition. But by Asga right away to Umobi committed. In mm -hmm. him committing, they played the ball over. Yeah. And then we don't have numbers because now for Umunari <coughs> um, um, to go there, it's too far. For him to go there and he's late lost in transition so we didn't have rest defense no rest defense there and that's how algeria found the opening goal in the 22nd minute but we have to speak about mshiga bala because he's the man that finds the equalizer for south africa in the 34th minute and what a beautifully orchestrated <coughs> goal here involving the likes of mukwena you've got michelle mayambela uh, also involved doc yeah it talks to 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 the plan because every department ends from seven why we win the ball, Mama central middle fielders, Mkwena putting pressure there. It gets to Mshishi. But look at the number of entries the yellow shirt inside the box because you don't have numbers in, in, inside the box, you mm. not score. And look at now Mshishi, Ulisa White, now she have a stretcher. Now we bring them back. Now, if Mshishi Agalkori, how many yellow shirts we had there? Two. Mm. So the more you have numbers inside the box, the advantage of God. And I mean, when you look at Mshishi and what he brings to the South African team, it's absolutely unbelievable because we have Hambela. And here again, we see him once again just before the halftime break. Very tight angle, this one, but he's able oh. to put it in the back. Oh. 14 seconds it takes us to score. Oh. Because uh, transition is important for you. How quickly yeah. do you close the opposition down uh, when mm. you have lost the ball? And how quickly do you um, take advantage? Because the team Ateka Iba disorganized the same way Iba scored a goal. Because Pegamas winning Polo Lapayana, the first pass forward, we couldn't play the first pass forward, and then we retained possession. Umshishi Lapayana had a chance, to he could drop the ball for Umukwe that is on the edge of the box. Umayambela actually, that's asking for the ball. Even Uapolis that is behind. But the Lanya Ulean Uta Selo Kibeli takes. Pen, I last Kibela Matex is Hambangale Vaselina Bakulumanga, Algeria. And he, he picks <laughs> top con. He was intentional about it. Of course. Because Ulvalengo right. More right, yeah. Ulashumundo Ula Alapayana Masegeza Lapan. He looks up, he realizes, let me go for top con. Yeah. Umshishi has been stellar from minute one today. Definitely. He's getting into the box. He's uh -huh. creating, he even comes back to retrieve uh, the ball because you find Mukwena sometimes go, he comes back. He's alternating between Umayambela, Ureinas, Noapolis. Yeah. He says to them, when you're not there, I'll occupy that yes. space. That's a true number 10 that we are Definitely. seeing today. And here we look at that uh, sweet Aula left choice. foot, <coughs> Shusha. Aula <laughs> choice. <laughs> <laughs> and he's loved in the team. No, he is definitely. absolutely loved yeah. and respected. And uh, let's, let's take a quick ad break. But when we come back, I want us to talk quickly to perhaps the missing effect for this Algerian team. We spoke about a, a Riyad Mahrez who's not in this team. Mm -hmm. We have a Ben Sabai who got injured, the Dortmund player, against that encounter against Bolivia before Mlaron and Plange. And, and perhaps what they can try to do in the second half of this clash. something about greatness. It has a remarkable and long lifespan. Ha! Was I nah? So, where is that coming from now? Well, some two decades ago, on match days, we would just be glued to our screens and SABC radio stations to witness the beautiful game. Abo Chabu Pule, from Amakosi, the Buccaneers, Tabom Gomeni, and Masanda Wanda scoring machine, Daniel Mambush Mutau. Where were you? History never dies. Let's relive the greatness of the past. Catch him Zansi's PSL Retro Matches on Throwback Thursdays at 8 p.m. on SABC Sport on DTT Channel 4. Also available on SABC Plus and SABCSport.com. Hashtag, Hashtag we, we love, love it here. here. Proudly brought to you by SABC Sport.
Trains Travel has packed the bags to take a trip from the morning straight into prime time. Discover the latest in travel, lifestyle, arts and culture with Trains Travel. Now Friday evenings at 8.30 on 2. It is a Gumbelenigism Africa that lead Algeria by two goals to one out in Algeria in this FIFA series a clash. Just a quick one, perhaps we speak to Yini Egmelei Algeria Izam Gushinja as we come into the second half. We've spoken about Abad Lalabangekula Namplanji for Gumbelabo, the likes of Yomaris, the likes of Ben Sabaini who was injured against Bolivia. What did they change in the second half? Meleba lungi sengale left back ya bongo ba freeway si ya singene. Lumaya mbela urena sumshi shi singena kona ngapa. And abana abana ngeke ba wazuglunga katle ngoba sine speed nat. Ama overloads way to they can't deal with them. So um Unuri needs needs help because uh u um I think u Amora. It's difficult for him to come back because he's a very attacking player. So Agabuya Zomsiza and Magatu Uyamsiza about all the midfielders, it's difficult for them because now about Lalanga their previous game. Emitilini, we are winning everything, we are dominating and sending it wide as quickly as possible. So far we are beating them with a lot of things mm. in 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 build up. Uh, they can't win the ball. In mm -hmm. the midfield, we are winning every battle. When they play the long ball, we still win it. And Emma Flenki in Siaya, Ubutinje, Namklanje, hands down, no mabangazama foot. V. Neko skora ya bo aiko no guba kona gusko sheets. Gu 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 team sheets. Not on the bench. That is gory. All right, and we take you through now to the second 45 minutes of the clash. It is a packed Nelson Mandela Stadium, and it is Michael Abramson in English as well as Oatile Jacobs in Zona. Motoetso re koro kajalo momento tungi le suma manele bo kano ya bo fail or magara kampa ya wisiro. Remo Kheringa ya Morana and Tata Kheria Mupitra, Ile Malatia Le Sumo Vele Bu Supa, Sadar Khoro Khile Fa, Ile Malatia Le Sumo Vele Borataro. Mere Tana Muti Molo Khonga Yama. Bejo Tele Sumo Manele Bo Kano. Jaka Obona Badira Petoko. Batile Badira Petoko, Banna Baliba Bedi. Banna Baliba Bedi. Bagon Tachalo Amura. Leka Kolebella Fa, Dina Jala di Petro Rodi Pedi, Leka Wana La Labi Zeroke, Ketana di Petro Rodi Pedi, Tedidua Jala Ke Nakaye, Ya Algeria, Ya Kamana Mosonto Saraho, Mona Yo, Hua Boneja, Yora Tango Cabona Jalo. Kagala Jala Moba Nusim Badi no Mala Tatsing La Hompia no Matraganye Mona Waka Kwa Tunisia Ababudu La Jala Palayaka Kukuka Timuru Koya Mezo Tere Subamane Lebo Kano Yabu Felo Afrika Bureta Tatsipela Kata Algeria Bata Feto La Maimo Jaka Ntika Jana Seo Reta Zibona Goto Kajana Mkhovitela Kati Jana Fali Arebone Bavaretto la capata Madina Pozzo, Fela, Quella che ha rotto la Gajalo, Comora, Coca, Sianda, Tulu, Baija Cazzarretti, Bavata Gialo, Temba, Fela, Balejone, Monosa, Tocotena, Tocco, Pankena, Ecavanala, Kendushi, Ahmed, Simola, Cobaro, Trezza, Patami, Keba, Balateri, Bahi, Banakaya, Algeria, Simula Rutret, Abatameke, Hore, Ari, Bawe Simulula, Baita Miguel Ajalo, Matilena, Madani, Romela Jalo, Matilena, Brahimi, Mokapteni, Wabone. Arbone, Arba, Tadira, Ngo, Tsoa, Komarako, Fela, Afrika, Bora, Baba, Mente, Komarako, Baya, Me, Komarako, Afrika, Bora, Kora, Vale, Mahor, Kirita, Lo, Tari, Tsoa, Njalo, Kwa, Pankenga, Ya, Kwa, Dressing Room, Mapos, 
Badi kulu khajalo maposa kakilio. Bago pola moko fara kilen kakone mo kilinya dina ya professional ele kawana le. La maposa. Me mona mongo chilen ke bentale. Bago pola korona bona jalo mo kaisano nya net bank. Lika wana lila maposa. Kwele waita beba mwani bako zola de itini. Harwa na Afrika buraba kutibu kaja mwkili nyeo. Kela wa kona kusika loto Afrika buraba ta kwele wa rumela kwa pili. Hira tulaka katempo zwani. Hwa ta kwele mshishi. Hwa ta chalo mayambela. Harwa ni chalo mithali. Otuwa kalibilo liba kana chalo limo rakola skopa asama Algeria. Hwa ta kwele wa mwtile jaka mshishi. Apolos. Hwa ta chalo noya mwara wa Afrika bura. Kela wa mwtile loto kwa mwara wa Apolos. Matanaka nyara kwele wa intito kwa ena Apolos. Jan Karit. Jang Kariti, Fela Motamoy Ketilen, Kakongwe, Otarabonta, Kore, Kore, Mbaro Kilen, Tito Jalo, Kiapolis. Kete, Mbaro, Mbaro, Kumile, Labo, Felo. Kete, Mbaro, Mbaro, Kumile, Labo, Felo. Arbo, 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 Dinanka, Kilen, Goto, Komarako. The Desert Warriors. Aiba, Montile, Nyaka, Madani. Abu Atta Jalal Kawan Lamandi, Ali Bela Mandi, Yo Kyoreleng Karunu Sitse Mobekenye Fitileng, Kota Mutaka Re Mobutsame Kongo Fitileng, Kata Lo Jalal Na Kaya Bolivia, Maga Re Kampa Busi Ko Ma Afrika Borwa, Kako No Po Batang Wa Korobala, O Batang Ko Na Paki, Re Kamo So Fa Ko Talo Si Wa Tsame Ko Ya Afrika Borwa, Ebe Le Paki Ya Seo. Hore, ubo ni lene kali chola kake. Fela rubane na kaya Algeria. Baba rumela kile tana kote. Afrika mura mama nga tana nga. Ata watakita tana kote. Bata koka. Ayata rela komora koronon Williams. Kako peyo bata mkoro bala. Afrika mura. Baise mula komora komo kapteni Ronan Williams. Wanajaka jaka itsamika ka botlhale motsile nya ga Sydney Mobi. Temba Zwani. Are bona jalo mithali mayambela. O ya kwa pele. O ba tapata. Mathali mayambela. A ba itsamika 1 2. Tela ba sire tsa komorago. Entsele mo karolo nya kotsi. A ka go Afrika borofa. Tela are bona Sydney Mobi. Temba Zwani. A ka ba dirisa di post. Tela ba khona go motsela khileo. Ibrahim. Wa ba rwala Ibrahim jaka mo captain ya Kadira. Are bona mo captain o tladira Ibrahim. Abata kile tela rumela kope le onile le seko fana itere kile o fola ga ni agotu le diu awe tosa Afrika bora ne le karolo zeroche ne le karolo ya mitsabe ko ya afkon. Arwa na Afrika bora kile tuko para jalo arume la mtu le njaga mitali Afrika bora ba kuhia kama mtu le njaga polis tume kila jalo mtu le njaga ma posa hawa na polis ba kutu na kala ba kuzala diye tini mta kwa nchi le pele uni le le tume kwa nchi le kwa na le la polis uni le le tume kwa nchi le mshumani wa polis hafita la kaja la mta kamera are agamu ita amu papa tali sika na puti horo diri le mshumani wa itiko fitla la kaja la Khas wa bisha, kumulio, mapos, apolis, tembo zuri, tapo ya Afrika bora, wako kocha ya nini? Aba wako, wako timu kadi kote. Aba tuko bora, mchana dina wa pele kaka, aba tuko bora letu wa pele kaka, mepa utsilo sisi tuna sisi utasi dira kiko muli la pata, uta muli la pata, uta kuta kisa taka kuti sisi kana kasepe. Leka wana le, laka kuwa butaba. Jobu tiene le te enjoy profesi ya fresh data. Kakuwa. Betele. Simo la kwa marako. Leka wana la matani. Samiga la jala wa momone wa kwa skapenza VRL. Habeba matile nyaka Brahimi. Romela Brahimi, Fela Pelas, Abatinga Lotuka Botali, Komarako, Abatinga Lotuka Botali, Komarako, 
Williams. Oh, Ronald Williams, Abadi Raposo, Ronald Williams, Odiri Leposo, Tabuni Lika Lekana, Moraga Kodira Bonte Tabukana Kana, Ronald Williams, Atameka Kele, Kodogoza Tonela, Komorago, Bamo Akaya, Tameko Eki Wile Le Mumalo Benga. Yago Tomori Kotengo, Tameka Kele, Jaka, Tameka Ronald Williams, Benele Tana, Fauko Palo, Tamiki Babo Machato, Tamiki Babo Walibilo, Bango Atlaya Mokrenye, Bonaga Motaba Ketilena, Brahimi, Ole Kalekadena Dino, Brahimi, Bonaga Gore, Ronald Williams, Adi Reposo, Taiko Tela, Seo Ronald, Senya Bonte, Jo Tle, Jo Abu Dirileng, Tira Lata Zadirile Mokaronyanta, Bata se la gape, la rumela copia le vetola ka quante quilio. Ha kita bora bora ka Ronald Williams. Ba Afrika bora ka la tagalo mo tsame Congo. Me mo takare. Fa Afrika bora ni le ba ipula ba sale le lwenga. Se golo tata jaka na mo kapteni. Tsona tsaka ba dire le botu ka go feta. Go dira jaka mo kapteni a tsona tsogo dira. Ai bu setsa mo ga ene gape. Raime ole kale kantsedina to Algeria Jeleperi Afrika Borwa Siana Kulu abarumela kwa pele ba palama mona mo kwatlenga matira ga ka poso bona Afrika Borwa gape semola jano go latlega Afrika Borwa semola go nna mo lififing jano re mo gare ga mpaya le sitya busigo re mo gare ga re mo busigo ga reng ba ba rumela ba yatlerra Ronald Williams semola ke te batsera ka naga semola dipone di simula go tima Afrika Borwa fela Batonetse go ka ipa ka nya go ipopota le go emelela go tlhabana tsa ka masole Batonetse go tlhabana tsa ka masole Ai semola kwa marago Mana wa matani fela khele ya go tsola ka kwa ntle Arbonne Chalo, Ikram Reiners. Hana Tuso, Ikram. Ole kago bana gore ka bona phatla ka ya batsa khele wa Romela. Bela ba khona go sireletsa kwa morago the Desert Warriors. Ba ba khona go sireletsa kwa morago the Desert Warriors. Khabela kwa pele to meet me concern. Bela ba ithula ka tlhoko kwa morago Arbonne re batla dira ka khile mo tlhaselong. Arbonne re batla dira Benoja. Michael another costly mistake. From South African a goalkeeper. Yeah, OJ, exactly my line as well. What I was going to say for the second match in a row, it's a calamitous error from a goalkeeper in South African colours that have cost the team here today. South Africa started the second half with such a swagger. Temba Zwane with some delightful touches in build ups. They might even have had a third goal. And then from that error, which I suppose can happen to anybody. Here it is. It's a very good finish from Brahimi, who hasn't scored for his side for some time. It's his 15th international goal for the captain, who plays for Al Garafa in Qatar. It's a very good finish. But Ronwin Williams, who was having a really good game up until then, he made one brilliant save in the first half. And unfortunately for him, well, it happens to the best. And he concedes there again. And since that goal, you can just sense it's lifted the mood in the stadium. The home fans have got behind their team. Algeria playing with a lot more confidence now. And 2-2, here's Aid Nouri trying to dribble his way through his opposite number, Monare. And the referee's not having any of that. But the changes, well, Amura off, Bentaleb off, and Zeruki and Kendusi on. Kendusi made his debut, incidentally, for Algeria last week against Bolivia, coming on as a sub. And Zeruki, who started the game last week, 
Well, there, Ron, Ronwin Williams needs to be careful. You don't want to be playing passes like that across your own box, just given what's happened in recent times. Nice work here from Moby, Ait Nuri getting on the ball, but South Africa need to show their strength now. They need to show their mettle. They've been the better team for much of this game. And now it's a question of can they lift themselves again to find another goal? As Monare finds himself down on the ground once more. Well, I was about to say at the start of the second half that the graphics people at the stadium who had the South African flag as the Bolivian flag throughout the first half. I don't know how many of you noticed it, but we had the Bolivian flag next to RSA. And the graphics people realized that was the graphic from last week and they changed the flag to the South African flag. And ever since they did that, Algeria back in the game. 2-2. There is Buneja, man who scores some very, very big goals for his country. Hasn't really had a chance today, just having a debate there with Grant Kekana. And the Brains Trust, Grant Johnson on the right, Hugo Bruce on the left, just debating some changes. It's another change here for Algeria. They're going to take off Buneja who is their leading goal scorer in the squad. And they're bringing on their number 30, who is Musef Bakhrar, for only his second match. So in interesting that he should come on, the man who plays for New York City in the United States. So Monsef is coming on here. And Buneja goes off. Monsef Bakhrar is just 23 years of age. It's only his second appearance for his country. So the coach who played as a midfielder for various clubs in an 18-year career, did the coach, his confirmation of the change. Buneja off, Bakra on. And the coach who had a, an 18-year career, 1981 to 1999. So say former Swiss manager for seven years and coached a little bit at Bordeaux, but lost his job there. And he's decided to give some youngsters a chance. And now another mistake by the South Africans at the back. What are they doing? They're committing Harry Kiri here. And Owar trying to take them forward. Then a professional foul, taking one for the team, so to speak. And the substitute has just come on. Bakra finds himself on the ground through that challenge from Tabang Monare. But South Africa are really committing suicide here. And Monare had to make that challenge. That's what you call taking one for the team, because otherwise the cross would have come in. South Africa were underloaded effectively defensively there and they're just making a few silly errors here Hoja and I were discussing off air at half time can South Africa keep this lead can they be mature enough to maybe add to it or just show the maturity and they've made a few bad errors and the game is now 2 all Re remember Algeria last week came from 2-1 down against Bolivia and won the game in the 95th minute through a strike by a man who's not part of the squad today has had to withdraw for personal reasons. So he's not playing today. Ball played into the area and defended. But again, the captain does well. Brahimi, who's just scored a, a goal and trying to set up another opportunity here. The corner conceded. South Africa are just losing it a little bit. You sense that they need mental strength here. They're starting to lose the plot. They're allowing Brahimi to run at them. It's a very, very strong run. It's well blocked in the end and put behind for a corner. But this is where they need to show their mettle. When Algeria scored their first goal, South Africa responded well and, and equalized. Now, ball played into the area again, goes to the far post and just too high for the man coming around the back, Awar. And South Africa clear through Modiba, but his pass doesn't find a teammate. And it's collected now by this man, the substitute Zeruki. Plenty of space now on this near side for Benzia, the man who started the scoring. As we go into the final half hour here, I venture to suggest there's plenty left in this game. Zeruki, who was born in Amsterdam, spent four seasons at FC Twente in the Netherlands. And now again, possession conceded. South Africa doing sloppy things at the back. Is there someone to finish it off? Now they need someone just to put their foot on the ball. That's nicely done in the end. And Koki can, or rather Kulu, I beg your pardon, can release the ball away. 
and just clear the danger for the time being as Algeria recycle it back to their goalkeeper. Do you sense momentum has changed in this game? And coach Hugo Bruce yet to make a change. I wonder how much longer he's going to wait, who he might look to bring on his fresh legs. Here's the rookie looking up, then deciding no. The better option is the pass to Awar. Zeruki again tries to thread the eye of the needle. That's good play from the Algerians. And suddenly they've got a bit of an overload down the right hand side. Men arriving in the box. The cross, though, is too strong and too long. And South Africa are given a reprieve once more. This is an Algerian side who went through 2023 completely unbeaten, played 15, won 11, drew four. Very good record that they had in that year. Here's the South African change. Apollos is coming off. Only his third appearance. He's had a decent game today. Just starting to fade a little bit now. And the change is being made. Mokwana, who I think deserves a chance. Marhaman as well coming on here. Marhaman, the man who certainly pulled some strings in that game against Adora when he came on to shore up the midfield. So he's on as well. And Mokwana, who really impressed last week in an otherwise pretty poor performance. So Polis is off, and Monare, the only man who started both games in this FIFA series, he's off the park as well. I think Markhaman will just give the side a little bit of steel in midfield. He's a man who likes to hang on to the ball, and I think it's a change that was necessary because Hugo Bruce was starting to realize that his side were losing a little bit of control in the center of the park, so they need a bit of stability. So Markhaman is on. We'll see what he can provide. But Mokwana, very, very confident, scored a lovely goal last week as well. But Algeria have certainly upped the pace. And they're playing with a bit of a swagger at the moment. Modiba does nicely defensively. But again, a sloppy pass out of defense, and South Africa concede possession one more time. Here's their rookie. They're going to go all the way back to the defense. Mandi, 94th match for Mandi, scored against Bolivia. A crucial goal late in the game. And again, South Africa play an errant pass. And the, the white shirts just starting to swarm a little bit now. Mistake by Moby. And now two players get in each other's way, but there's options here. The captain tried to set it up, and then a delightful little chip from the edge of the box is wide. Didn't have that much control. The substitute, Kendusi, in only his second match for his team. But this man, the captain, number 11, here he is. When in fact he leaves it for his teammate, then he takes over. He's been brilliant today. Scored an excellent goal. And finished nicely. And also has been instrumental in a lot of his team's attacks. Well, Coach Petkovic looks as if he wants to make another change here. In friendies, you can make lots and lots of changes, of course. There's no limit to the changes you can make. Ronwin Williams will be ruining his mistake. That has allowed Algeria back into the game. 20 minutes gone, second half. It's 2-2, and it's all to play for, Oja. Atena kana bogo tsona ne tene. Bona bale ka go ipuella. Bale ka go tlhalosa sengwe. Batsa me ke bo Algeria. Enas Mukwana. O tsoa go tlopeng sa babina noko. Mega ke tsoa go bangwa mo regelanga. Are bona ka botsa bo iketlilenga. Bona Elias. Bona Elias. Algeria. <laughs> First touch. Yara Elias Mukwana. First touch. Yara Elias Mukwana. Adina Jalo Petro. 
Raimi Watsua. Me, Pavo Tenachalo, Lika Wanala. Ben Rama. Ben Rama, Kiena Tenang. Abadou Mene, Bahé, Algeria. Hora Bay Taylor King. Africa Bora Jano, Batone Tegui, Tuturupanya. Niposo, Teban Teban Dira, Batone Tejano, Kotomu Niposo Teo. Tone Tegui, Tela Pele, Jaka Mokapoteini, Ronald Williams. Simula Komarako, Seta Potule Kedele Taro Komarako, Monawa Zerba. Tula Gatoro Komarako. Cyril Eta Komarako, Africa Bora Prileo. Sianda Kulu. Komolemo. I get set before for this time again. Moron William Scatel and Zinja. I remember the captain. Get Mukwana. Mulene, Mukwana. Jersey number 17. Kimani. Jersey number 17. 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 Haya Parufela no Murillo. Ronan Williams. Look at that tipping. Charissa Mala Cassiata. Bona Ekram Reynolds. Oiba Motilena Elias Mukwana. Temba Zwani. Bona Jalo Kran Markeman. Oiba Jalo Motilena Romulimo. Maposa. Bayi ya Afrika bora jalo bayi chora mo kubone. Arabo ni arba tadi na mukili nyeo. Chamba zwani. Nyiko mobi. Oh. Hivi wala tega la Afrika bora ya kuchola kwa nchi fetu kwa kuna goal kick. Adeboni Kileo, Simula Jalo, Mumpenya Lebala, Zeroki, Benzia Nusan Noyaga Kayabubedi, Africa Bora Kutsiboga Jang, Felan Zeroboni Dino Dile Tataro Momota Mekongo, Margaman, Ronald Williams, Yo, Hakim Solo Fela Ronald Solo Fela Torata Banu Seri Nodi Digan Nataro Manu Tati La Rompieno Fela Seta Potu Nogi Nile Taro Fela Jaka Zerba Apotu Nogi Nile Taro Komarajo Twelfth Man Gieno Maragno Matabi Kobo Le Sumer Bobe Eri Wastro Passa Naga ya Algeria, ba kutoa kalemelo, kutoa jalo mchali, arboni, kila bakuara kusiri na tazama kama rako, bakuara kusiri na tazama jalo kama rako Algeria, Afrika bora baada ya kileo, arboni Afrika bora, kara kutiga lotu kama rako Afrika bora ba alua jano, baada ya kila bakuara kusiri na tazama baka sekuta, ya alua Afrika bora, mna unisema ni lepe ni pensia, petero tamba zwani watoa. Me wa kutera jalo le kawala la musele amagale kete kete pelo morena me matat misali maya mela watua. Kita ada di Petrobras Afrika Bora. Mana siwa nadi le pere tembus zani. Mana mana pere mana siwa brace. Mana siwa tinggal kumpieno. Tembus zani kamu kalah pensia. Ada mana di Petrobras tapi lama rena tak senang mana kuliah. 
Bona ga mokhoba ya khile ka gore Puntle. Ba ba ifeleletsa Puntle khwileng. Ha ba ipotsa gore go dira getseng a mona yo wa ke bogo mokwena. Pete ga le pedi. Mona wa Benzia wa tswa. Mona se wa no le pedi wa tswa fela ja ka temba zwana tswile. Me Amora le do tswile. Au wa tota. Me motho go le botsega se tsa re tla bona nnofa. Ha re bona go Algeria ba tlasela jang. Ba itsa ba rubela ka go botlhaba jwa le bona mona tsa tsongo tsena go tsa jalo ka banke mona yo le wa ama. Se khore ba ba sireletsa ka morago. Afrika bona ba sireletsa Ronald Williams. Ha ba khora go sireletsa Ronald Williams mo khile nyeo. Ba tsoletse ba ga ba Algeria. Go rotloetsa se tlopa. Ba tsoletse ka dikoma. Go ka rotloetsa se tlopa go ya kwa pele. Sireletsa Marhaman. Ba ma fa fatse fela mo tsereganya ba le ana le gaufi ya ba ka phoso. Ha ba ka phoso khatlalong jalo. Le mona wa Kendoshi. Baba ka ile phoso ga tla le Kendoshi. Mezo tsele le sebele botlhano ena kota fena wa to go Mike. We still expect him more goals. I tell you what, we've had a treat and a half. Last week we sat through the appetizer and some people were put off eating. But what we've had tonight has been a thriller minute. You would have thought at half time that Tempa Zwane's goal will be one of the fantastic goals of the season. Who would have thought it was not even going to be the goal of the game? What a spectacular bicycle kick from Benzia, who's not going to get a hat trick because he's gone off and been substituted. He's got two goals. And it just has been an incredible match. South Africa showing a lot of steel to get back into it, having conceded that soft goal through their mistake at the back by goalkeeper Ronwin Williams. They then went three two up for a goal that's not going to be given to Mokwana. Much as I love Mokwana, he's going to get the assist. The, the final touch was off the head of Ikram Reina. So Reina gets the goal officially. That's how it works technically. Some might say it's unfair, but it's Reynas' goal. So it's his first goal since scoring against Botswana in the Kasafa Cup in 2023 in Durban in July in a 2-1 win. So it's a goal for Reynas, even though some will say it should be Mokwana's goal. But Reynas did have a decisive touch that took the ball into the net. So effectively, it's his goal. That's how it works. Of course, own goals, if the ball is going into the goal, it gets credited to the player who takes the initial strike. But if it's your teammate and it deflects off your teammate, then your teammate gets the goal. So it's Reynas' goal, following up on Zwane's back-to-back -back goals in that first half. And for Algeria, Benzia gets two, Brahimi has one. They've both been substituted as well. It's 3 all, As you say, OJ, who's going to grab the next one? The next goal could be decisive. Algeria have scored six goals in their last two games, but they've conceded five. It's been an incredible game from end to end. It's been had six interesting goals, some real quality, some through defensive errors. But you can see that there's something special building in the South African team. And they are very, very much a better team than they've been before. They don't let their heads drop. They continue to push, and here they go again. And here's Reynas looking to set it up, sends the pass slightly wide this time to Morena who's unable to pull it back, but South Africa will win it back in the center of the park again and will work hard. They've got Marhaman in there now. Kulu sending it wide again. Nice little touch from Moby, who stayed on the field. Kulu going back to his goalkeeper. And you venture to suggest there's more action left in this one. South Africa, it's their last international fixture until their game against Nigeria away. 
as they ready another change and can you saw Mayo looks if he's going to get some game time didn't really take the chance last week this is going to be a free kick on the edge of the area foul committed by Goodman Mosele on Ait Nuri so can you saw Mayo of course comes from a tremendous footballing pedigree his father played for five different clubs in South Africa, his father Patrick Mayo. Here he is. And Yusuf Mayo will be in action potentially on Saturday on your screens against Kaiser Chiefs in the match we're bringing you. Ikram Reynas, he's got a goal tonight. He's got seven goals in the PSL this season. And it makes him two goals in seven appearances now. But South Africa have defending to do here. Said Benrama ben is over the ball. One of six substitutions that Algeria have made. One of them, Hajjam, the number 13, is celebrating his 21st birthday today. So if they score, it'll be a moment to remember. Well, that's three points in a rugby match. That is certainly not going to threaten Ronan Williams' goal. Poor free kick from Ben Rama. And who wants it now? Ten minutes to go. South Africa have had a whole host of draws, five draws in their last seven matches. Are they going to get another one today? Or is there going to be a winner for somebody? It's been... I hope you haven't gone to bed because this has really been full of tremendous action. Here they come, the Algerians again. Side-splitting pass, ball squared back into the area and just miskicked on the volley. Otherwise, it would have been a, a fourth goal for Algeria. Now South Africa could get something here potentially on the break. Excellent work there from Okwena, but unfortunately his pass goes astray. And the home side, the Desert Warriors, the Fennec Foxes, call them what you like, pick up the pieces. And they'll look to attack once more. Down that far side with Seruki. Looks at his options. It's good defending, good solid defending to win a free kick in that position. Well, this man, Anis Musa, one of six changes, Anis Hajj Musa who's come on, but very good work here from Modiba, who at times has been criticized for some of the defensive work that he does, but he's very, very much improved in that position. And in the end, miskicked kicked on the volley, but South Africa doing nicely to tidy things up. They know just how close it was to potentially taking the lead again. So South Africa have had the lead twice. They've led 2-1, they've led 3-2. Algeria led 1-0 against the run of play when they did take that lead. But it does show that there's plenty of promise and there's plenty to look forward to. If the side are allowed to develop and allowed to grow on, they've blooded some players who've really taken their chances. Mokwana is the man who stands out for me, but Ikram Reynas had a very, very good game today. Mayo's got a chance to do that now. Apollos had some delightful touches, should have had that early goal. And the coach has certainly blooded some young exciting talent to go with the experienced players like Zwane and Mokwena and Kekana and the like and Ronwin Williams of course in goal just slowing it down to walking pace now trying to draw the Algerians out so they can look to attack once more so many changes Mayo can't win it in the air he doesn't win all that much in the air he's strong on the ground but now the defense just stands still and allows the gap and Ronwin Williams redeems himself for his earlier error, well, Bachrar, in only his second appearance for his team, was one on one with a the keeper there. And Ronwin Williams stood firm, as he did in the AFCON penalty shootouts on more than one occasion. Mukwena arguing the point there with the referee. Not sure what he's arguing about. He's potentially saying there was a, a misdemeanor in the build up, but that really should have been a goal. Credit Ronwin Williams there for some very good goalkeeping. Comes out, makes himself big and forces the striker to make a choice and the young man is not the most experienced in the world just 23 years of age had to pick a side and you knew he was up against a quality goalkeeper and he couldn't beat him seven and a half minutes to go i still venture to suggest there might be some more twists and turns i nuri taking the side forward here good bit of work from him and winning a free kick Midway inside the South African half, and the referee decides it's time to go to the pocket again, and he books Marchaman for that challenge. 
Well, this has been a thriller minute game. So many incidents to talk about, but Ait Nuri having his legs chopped out from underneath him. Man who plays for Wolverhampton Wanderers in England. A side have now become established as a Premier League side for a number of seasons. Remember how they struggled in the championship probably about seven, eight, nine seasons ago. Struggled to try and get promotion, but once they won promotion, they've pretty much kept it. Here's Mokwana. So exciting when he's on the ball. Such a brilliant player. Tries to thread the, the pinpoint pass and just doesn't quite get it right. But he's a man who's taken his opportunity with both hands. Ben Rama sending it wide to Hajam, the birthday boy, 21 years of age today. What an occasion for him. But he's more worried about winning a football match than about celebrating. Celebrations will come later. So the confirmation of the yellow card to the Super Sport United man. And forward comes Gitun. Good challenge. And the ball put out of play for a throw-in. Wadiba has been very strong defensively just of late. He stood firm. Man has scored a goal against Benin. Or I beg your pardon, made a defensive error rather in that qualifying match in the rain against Rwanda. Let me get my matches right. So many matches have been played. One match almost blends into the other. Here's Hajam, the man we've been talking about. But Modiba's defensive work has been very, very good today. Here's Zeruki keeping the attack alive. 28 here is Kendusi. Threading it through. Have Algeria. Got an opportunity. Aitnuri is wide, but the ball is fed. Goes into the center. Should have been a goal again. Good goalkeeping from Williams, who stands firm, makes himself big and denies. Kendusi the chance to put his side ahead for the second time in the match and score the seventh goal. It was good goalkeeping. It was a brilliant move here. I'll just describe it to you again. Look at that. It, yeah, I think the South Africans thought the pass was going to Aitnuri out wide. Instead, he went into the center. The defense is nowhere and Kendusi should have put that away. So, OJ, five minutes to go in a match which has given us absolutely everything. Who wants it more? But it's been pulsating. I hope you're still awake and I hope you're enjoying it. It's 3-3 with five to go. <laughs> Ray Goodman and Brown. Goodman Musele. Avata Kile. Wait a bigger Chala Motile and Yaka Temo. Arbone Chala Sianda Kulu. Africa Bora. Nakute Bunti Jobone Bakrete Robaro Betti. Meo Libella Kili Malatia Mabedi. Nitati de la Moraro, de la Bobedi. Potana Potati de la Moraro. Kepsam Rembula. Arbone Temo. Avata Kula Fela Vaxina de Tacomara Romadani. Abai Sire Leta Kobarajo, Yago Tojalo Cazarochi, Arbore Batadiranga Quileo, Bairumela Copele, Fel Africa Bora, Baba Sina Quilecapi, Maposa Obri, Modiba, Arbore Batadiran Algeria, the Desert Warriors, Baba Romela O, Hope, Yago Tolaga Quante, Fetora Honna Golki, Lebella Tupara Quentari, Mesusele Merano Le Halofo, Faile Ore, Watimela Giri Quayana. Chora ke boro ko ichoke. Bala mitso to fela ile malwa go mo tsameko ya bokutlonga. Me mo khelenya dina o sengwe le sengwe ska dira ga la mo mitso tsinge meraro yeo. Sengwe le sengwe se ka dira ga la mo mitso tsinge meraro. Are bone khomolemo. Pele kara ka ketse pe fa ba tsabe ka la motseleng ka tselentse jana mo rona Williams. Fela khona go ithabela kwa pele rona e. Ga e go pe re tlo ga jalo ka hajam. Khabela kwa pele mona wa mandani. E bo a jalo kwa morago ka Afrika bo ra bona grand marchman. Wa ya kwa pele bona mayo kwa pele ke bona jalo mona wa morena. Bona te bo mo rapula. Odira tsotlhe tsa tsona tseng go le dira le ka bona le fela go tlhoka selo se le no se fela le sego Kyone placing e ona e ba kwa tsona tseng go ya gone fela mona wa 
Zegba ataoloka sikeletsa kuphile waba ka sikhutla Ana bode Bagona le ka bona le motha ka reng ha ke tse sepe mo batsa metimba ba masthopa sa bosichaba tsala ba gona le monna le nosi o ketseng gore fa tshotle ke ti diwela fa tlase diwela tlase wa di tshuletsa tebo mo kwela fa bona ke tse kepe sa wela onna monna yo tsa mai karabelo ha go rwala se tlopa ka magetla Are bone the desert warriors ba ba tla no ya phenyo go pala gore ke bone ba mo kala ba yenga me ba tshwanetse go ka phenya tela ba ba sireletsa kwa morago fela Africa morago gore le ka re ga ba kitla ba rata go bona ba latlhakela mo le ba lenga le le teletse ka fa ka fa morago ga tata Nelson Mandela na le ka go tsa baisana ko modiba fela le ka bona la Jiton Are mel Are ke metso tsele be bedinya na fela Emela Obre re feletse mo tsameko me ke yone na kwe ma sisi ye ke yone na kwe Africa borwa na le go latlhegelwa mo go yone ye se go lotata ja go na dead ball are bone ba tsa phile ba romela tsela ka le ba tsola da itene ba ba tsaka mo kana ngwane ba tla go no sa nwa bo be di ka mo kana ngwane fela phile ba tsola ka kwa ntle ya go fetoka go na golki Tlhakile le se gola go e tswara fela na e mela nosi. Mana wa Ben Rama. Mayo. Aba senya phile mayo. Ba go ba o tla jalo. Ba ya kwa pele. Fela o Afrika Bora. Mutaba ke to gata mai. Ba go ba o tla ya Algeria fa fa tlhokomela Afrika Bora mme tsutsinye ya bofelo. Metsotsele metlano 5 minutes. Re tseke tswa metsotsele metlano. Ray Goodman and Tata Kitapelo Morena. James. Tepo Mokwena. Tapelo Morena. Marcheman. Jalo se batsore tse go dira Afrika Borwa ke gore ba itshware mo go bona ekhwele. Sydney Mobi. Tali Bututu. Sianda. Aba etsa sianda ho eba mo tsenya ga go molemo. Good man. Tsabe ke bala ba be di fela. Balke etse ba dirisela ina la good man. Ka go pala mo tsabe ke bala ba mo roka solos. Good man tshogwali. Mara ga ga ge ga tsalo ba ka me re na le good man o mo. Ha re bone khanyisa mayo. Aba tsa phile tela e romela kwa pele fela. Tapela Morena be ne tsentso mo watata Ba ya kwa pele ba warutletsa ba rareng Ba ya kwa pele Algeria Are bone pile ba baitsa ba romela mo bokosong thula ga tlhoko komorago ba le ba ntlha ka le ba kosola de itene Afrika borwa ba tlasireletsa jang mona tsena ka le ba kosola de itene jang ba tlhoko ba dirisa di post Matsara ganya re le khoromets na ba tla go ba dirisa di poso Fela matsara ganya wa khana na ba tla fela gore ba mo khome mona yo wa ait nori ait nori fela na botlhale ba na botlhale si anda tlolo khile ya go tlhomiwa ko morago tlhomo ya ke Afrika borwa metsotsele mebedi le di second tier gore matsameko ya bokutlo Bye to Maron and Williams. Bye to me, Maron and Williams. Rumela le telele. Abo go tsela ditse folaga ga go kaiwa phoso ga tlhalo la Afrika Borwa. File le bantela mo captain mo na yo wa Mandi. Go tswa tshalo mo go Ibrahimi. Me go le dikgwele le pedi mo le baleng mo tsereganye ba laela gore buja tsang khele kwa morago ba laela gore buja tsang khele kwa morago re setse ka motsotso tata metso tsele mebedi are ya kwa metso tsengele mebedi ya bofelo
Kwele tamile ke matani kwa mrao. Oito gala mochara lino waka kwa ezekba. Potilwe kirile taro fela jaka Ronald Williams kwa mrao. Kabela kwa pele. Tule katoko kwa mrao. Sianda kolo. Sabi kile boto katata matakari ya lo mwana satila kumpieno sianda kolo. Sabi kile boto kamwana satila kumpieno. Marcheman. Fela ba motela kwa kileo Marcheman. Oh, Afrika Borwa. Basi nya kwele. Fela ba sire leta kwa mwana kusianda kolo. Oba takanyi samayo. Baba Motela Kileo, he wala Motela nyaka tebsa mrembola. Yo ke gore lenkele ali nosi, aka se rola se tlopa se farata. A ba romela ka kwa no thoko. Bona tepelo morena. Oh, aba etsika lo thoko bara ga ba sireletsa. Faratile. Khara go lemoga, ngora ga motsama o boela ga pika le belo go go sireletsa. Ba tswa ga le belo jano na ga ya Algeria. Ba ya wele Afrika Borwa se roche. Baba Rumela! Baba Tile, 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 Le Kamuchua, Baba Tile, 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 Baba Motaka re motsa meko tsalonga go lebile go a bofelonga go lebile go ya bokhutlonga i second tier fa o di lebella o ka di lebella mo tshontso tsa gago o ka di lebella mo tshontso tsa gago bontsi bo emeletse ka mauto go ipakanyetsa go a go robala ha re bona re ba tla dira mo khelenyeo ba ba isiretsa kwa morago ba lebella tshuponako mona wa ka kwa Tunisia ha ba bodula phala le khatlo la ntla la bobedi la boraro go ka bokhutlo tsa motsa meko le o fela ka tlentse njalo 3 Africa Bora, three, Nagaya, Algeria. Me refeta gatilente chalo mutkecho. Refeta gatilente chalo. Reboela chalo akwari papusi unkas.
As this encounter ends in a draw, it is Bafana Bafana's 87th draw since 1996. Another interesting t statistic for you there is that the last time that Bafana Bafana played out to a six-goal thriller was in 2020 against Sao Tome Principe. That one was won by four goals to two by South Africa. And guess what? Mshishi in that game scoring a brace for South Africa. We've seen six amazing goals in Umglalwana Mshanj. And we said when we were building up that we were expecting a spectacle that would have a lot to fight for between Lamakamba and Mabili because for Algeria, it was them improving from their performance out at the Africa Cup of Nations. For South Africa, just solidifying the good work we've seen Coach Hugo Bruce do. And I mean... What can we say about Coach Hugo Bruce and his troops? Coach, I coach, think... coach. Well done. <laughs> 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 I see one, I see two, two. But I eat three, three, three. <laughs> well, two, two, me now. Not one, one. one. So, double, yeah, three, three. Yeah. <laughs> so, three. Maria Correa, yeah, it's a dog. And I think why we went for a draw is because we saw which we could match Algeria with the quality squad that we have, and we had confidence in the bench as well. Because that game against Andorra, there were a few outstanding players, left wing, right wing striker in the midfield as well and that's exactly what happened today because we had depth coming from the bench the difference was that uh, we didn't have a bench that would keep up with the momentum because the Algeria kept on going on a trajectory uh, going up they improved they went up they started mm. playing for their crowd because they were uh, absorbing the pressure in the first half and they were not allowed they were allowing us to build up from the back and then we must bump in a second phase of defending mm. but in the second half they started pressing us high and then we started started cracking, we started making mistakes. Ronwin, uh, Moby, you know, even uh, the subs that came on, Goodman, Musele, even Magaman, we were struggling. Even uh, Umudiba, we couldn't now build up in a confidence yet because they were pressing us. And the Bashinje and the Wenez Balulegi also are changes of our Wenzid. Mm. Let's perhaps uh, dig a little deeper in terms of that Morena substitution and him coming out of the game <laughs> because we also then started to see a little bit of a gap that he left. La Bigat Lalakon. Yeah, uh, I think Baba ba swap my positions uh, because Mbrena was supposed to be on the right hand side. And he went to and the left wing. Eat, so they swapped the positions. But again, coach, um, here, here, here's the first 45 minutes plus at a time that showed you the capacity of Kaiser, I mean, it was Kaiser Chiefs, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> South Africa. Ile With the dominance well, of Mshishi, uh, Tebza, you know, uh, 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 also the wing players. And then how then do you probably give a Shishi a break and then you bring in a defensive middle fielder? What is it? Because I would have loved to see Umaswangai. Probably like Ashi Loguti, maybe he's a possible candidate to take over from Mutemba. Yeah. Maybe let's also introduce a player that has got the same mentality, even if it can be 35%, that Temba has 75% in terms of going forward, creativity, uh, skill-wise, and also comfortable with the ball. But as soon as we withdraw, the players that made us look good first half, then we started to drop. Because now, Angege Uzufage coach forward. So what you are saying... Or we should try to defend. Hmm. Because that's a message you said. Now that confidence here drop again. You saw Mkwena also dropped a little bit. We just saw him Ikuma faces where probably final third trying to counter and all those things. But uh, I strongly like to believe with your coach, maybe he's saying, let me play most of the players because see, this is just a friendly and let me see what we have. But we need to give them credit. In Algeria, under those circumstances, packed out, packed stadium. out there. Now they know foot after 1960, Muguti, in South Africa. Because clearly, these boys, they, they are talking to us as a country to say we might have not been given a, an opportunity or probably that chance for us to, 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 to be supported in, at home when we play at home. But this is what we're capable of. Hmm. Now, is it fair enough for them to come and play here at home with 50,000 seater, then we're going to have 12? You know, it, it, 
uh, it's just that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like a player, you know, because Ronwin always says, please, South Africa, come support, and support us. us. Come and but support they us. made us proud. I mean, in Algeria, 3-3. Absolutely. And, and <clears> let's <throat> go a little bit deeper because, Coach, you look at this result and you look at particularly the performance of the team. Because it would be one of those where Coach Hugo Bruce would again come out and say, I am happy with the performance because we can see what this, this team is building towards with just the upcoming qualifiers of the World Cup against Nigeria and Zimbabwe. The importance of playing against an opposition as organized and uh, of higher quality like Algeria, when you bring in new players to see where can I fit in the gaps and close the gaps in areas where uh, we need to improve and all of that, is that you get a true reflection. You can see which players are able to keep up with the standard because Mshishi comes out here and who you bring in, do they elevate the match or they regress and go below what Mshishi left in there? And I think also coach needs to look at himself and retrospect and say, did I take out Mshishi too early? Too early. Nam Mshishi was was on more fire than all the fire. other days that we are uh, used to seeing him dominating that midfield because he was moving at defenders, midfielders out of position. He was moving Abantabofana, Nabo Aura, Abo Pantaleb as well. He was moving them out of position. They didn't know how to deal with him. He was making it easy for Mukwena to advance and go forward. He was making it easy for uh, uh, Munari to say, I can go back and defend Nibere's defense. I can uh, join the wingers and all of that. So in essence, I'm saying Mokwana, uh, um, Mokwana came in and he showed us Guti. He's improving from what he did against uh, Andorra. E e Andorra. E Andorra. Apolis, you can see that he's in the first half, he was having joy and mm. all of that. Now, the next stage is for him to be able to take players on and create chances. He's, he's not too... Um, left-footed, he's right-footed, he was playing as an inverted winger, um, uh, but it gave us also an option to say, when he's playing with a... a, a a, not not Modiba, because Modiba today was not overlapping as much. He was staying a bit uh, back. If he's playing with a Mashiku, he's able to drift in how Mukwana was playing against Andorra, and Mashiku can go in there. Because I'm talking specifically about Mashiku, because Gunama areas are Payana. On the left side, defending-wise, it has been an, an Achilles that is very painful for us. Modiba is not as solid in defending in those areas. Mobi also was not as solid on the right. That's where Mudau comes in, and I think Coach Magafaga. Umurena on the left wing, he was trying to stabilize and say, Besegubai mm. one wing up because mm. uh, e, e, Algeria also they made changes. In them making changes there, it was difficult for us. Because you look at these moments here, look at that. Uh, Brahimi, he's the one that uh, orchestrates this because he was lurking and saying he's the point of attack, he, he, he's a, a reference point here but when they transition from defense to attack. He, he's able to get the ball and say, Benzia, where are you? Benzia was playing as a right winger. He comes in at the correct time, and when he stretches out, it's difficult for him a center back switch. So bam collect, bam was good, bam vale. Benzia, the man with the opening goal in this clash, coming in the 22nd minute. And Siabona Lana, perhaps also, Doc, we look at that bit of a miscommunication or, or a hindrance between a grant and Mugwena, not certain what to do in that situation. Yeah, but uh, you know, this is it's, it's a difficult moment because uh, when you attack, you need to anticipate that loss of possession, it needs you to defend. So that's second phase. So you need to teach your players with any time we lose the balls, we need to be set. Because in this situation, they were attacking on the left hand side, Umdiba, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, it's Moby who was trying to hit the ball, then they counter on the left hand side. But then again, you look at the distances of the two central defenders. They were a little bit uh, far. So if probably be that close. So when I learned to learn that, I learned from Stuart Baxter. I used to say, drop and center. But when they were dropping towards the keeper, hence that's the reason why Rowan couldn't see it. But when you drop and center, it takes only three steps. It's one, two, three, stop. Because any player that runs behind you is an offside. So, but those are coaching points that uh, probably the coach will, will talk about uh, in the next uh, camp that they have. But I must say that, uh, yes, we might have missed the Mvala issue. I get, Here you know, we see Mshigabala in with I, the equaliser. I, Two left-footed goals for him for the first time ever with his brace here today. You know, you know, uh, Temba, I must say, Uguti, I think he made a mistake. But I don't want to bring... He, 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 
you know but hugo but here guys i think i think for me it's it's the entries inside the box of the yellow shirts and mayambela's experience and calmness you if 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 ungakhona ukuyenza kanje inside the box nokungcono uthathi amakhokhisi wakho wafaka emanzini bhake edeni wasadlane because that can only happen from an individual experience and a player that is composed because uyabona ukuthi engile imvalele so udlale lo and ushaye pass i pass akakhona i pass yes lidlula umshishi lithola umgweni let, let's perhaps speak about the man that brings it in for Umshishi eventually at the end, mm. Umishali Mayambela. Your, your take on the game he had here today? I think he had a brilliant game today. Um, mm. Normally he gets almost a stage fright where he attacks and then he doesn't do it consecutively. But I think today game plan go coach because at some point it looked like they were playing a 4-2-4 which allowed mm. him to go into the middle uh, as a top striker when Reynes was moving out so Le interchanging yeah boy helped him a lot because today he wasn't losing the uh, possession that easy he was holding on to possession at the right time he was taking players on because there's quite a number of crosses that he brought on on the side uh, we saw Reynes um, trying to score there even uh, the cross that came in where a, a, a police hit the ball. It was still a, a, a Mayambela that was there. Even Shishi, when he tried to hit as well, when um, uh, uh, Mukwena also tried mm. to hit, the, it was him that was there. So I could say to him that he's improved so much in this game, because in the Afcon, mm. he wasn't mm. expressing himself yeah. as much. And I think the limited touches that he was doing, when he was running with the ball, he was running to pass. There were moments where I thought he could have uh, taken a shot, uh, but he took too long. Uh, holding on to the ball instead of making a pass too early or making a, a decision on time. But that right flank for us, it gave us a lot more when we were attacking. And why it gave us a lot when we were attacking, I'm overload with we all my because um she she the way I'm gonna pan he realizes I'm on the byline. That's where the player understands the parameters on the field to on say field, if yes. I cut in too early mm -hmm. then the defender is gonna block me. Block. But if I cut in because look at him, he gets the ball, he could have easily played across here, but he looks up. Ikatiniake says it gives him a chance yeah. to either make a pass or to uh, score. To score. Yeah. So that is very important because if first touch Yenzayo is key because it will determine how brilliant is your final touch. And this was it. Mm. It was intentional. Even how he hits that ball, mm. he drops the shoulder, he's yeah. curling it in. He's not even going with this. He he's definitely. aware, he's cognizant to go to. I can't use a certain part, the, the lace, but instead, let me curl it in because it will go where I want it. If anything, it will come back, somebody will finish, will finish because off, of those yeah. numbers in the box. Definitely. And that's how Enigism Africa then goes into the halftime break, leading by two goals to one. For the first time in six encounters that they go into the halftime break leading because the previous six clashes went into the halftime break even. We come back into the second half. Benzi, the man that found the opening goal for this Algerian side, once again getting an opportunity and we have to speak about this error here by Captain Fantastic and Ronwin Williams because goalkeeping error here for him. If it doesn't happen, it means we don't do it enough. I was sure footy. Eating elaborate. <laughs> if that mistake doesn't happen, it means we are not confident to do it enough. Mm. We are not confident to do it as much as we can because it's in our DNA. He's not afraid, Luguti, there's a player in front of him and all of that. It didn't catch flight in his courtesy right because he was driving it. And Uronwin, when he drives those passes, we saw him go off corner. We yeah. see him at Mamelodi Sundowns week in and out. He doesn't play obvious passes. He plays those defense splitting uh, passes uh, between a striker that's coming and a winger that's in there. And when that happens... And immediately when that happens, uh, the next attack, he did it and it was successful mm. because yeah. Inter Joya yeah. Lugans. Yes. And I think Coach Steve Compella has said it previously to say, when you have the ability and the confidence to build up at the back, you are running the risk to concede. Mm. Yeah. But which is which outweighs the other? We've benefited more. So it risky once uzo concede a fire, but four times you're gonna be successful. No risk, no reward. Hello. That's what the coach is basically saying. Now, there is a man that we spoke about in our build-up for this Algerian team, Captain Wabo Brahimi. We spoke about the threat that he could possibly possess, Gulum Jalolod, and we saw the threat coming in in the 53rd.
Yeah, we saw the threat coming in in the 53rd. And I think um, on the left side, that's where they put him. But when uh, he was pressing us high, it was difficult for us to go through. Now, the first pass, him, Lulile, he couldn't press that. He told Mukwan. Mukwana comes in and he says, I'm on the left side. Remember against Andorra, he played on the on the left side. And yeah. against um, e Algeria, he plays Algeria. on the right side. Look at the pass that he gets uh, there. And he gets it from Moby because we are high up in the field as well. Mm. He doesn't have to travel uh, 40, 40 meters. meters. It's yes. only 10, uh, 12 meters that he has to go up. Ukata in is courtesy, right? When you find players that are ambidextrous, they are able to do anything with their feet. Yeah. right, left. It's almost similar to what Mshishi does. Yeah. And because Ureinas is at the right place at the right time, Utati defender, Uyal Susalapayana, we got you at Dakalapaya, but you can see even with how he's going, he's but you can see even with how he's going, he's anticipating because he's aiming for. It top corner and Shishi Lapaya. And because the center pack the Lapayana Nale Lanya or Lelanel Kela Lapayana Shai the better. But coach, I think I think uh, Hugo should pride himself because he found a, a diamond now in Mukwana. I mean two games in a row, the boy is showing character, uh, is positive, is going forward. I don't I I you you wing player any tand and jungle muntu magaban bipola alande it defender because that's a reason why we have wing players in order for them to isolate. And this is exactly what we saw um 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 kwane uh I would have loved to see Umbanjwa, but unfortunately uh he didn't play him. So based on the two games, uh, I think in Mukwana we, we, we found a diamond for Bafana Bafana. And I mean it would have a kick. Wow. Beautiful goal. No, it is goal of the uh, match. Nah, no, no. Oh, is it a tournament? Or, uh, <laughs> of the series. Oh, the series. <laughs> of the FIFA series. Of the FIFA series. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, we didn't see the goal that was scored yesterday <laughs> between it. Bolivia and Andorra. No, Andorra. Angel, Angel okay. Bonang, yeah. But here in Ingizim Africa, once again, I mean, this game was pretty much 2-1, 2-2, 3-2, 3-3. And South Africa had a perfect opportunity in the 88th minute. Debuko mm. Mugwena, you can see him when Ngatinya ola kedi aluma liti nfuni goal na mslanji. He was my player of the tournament in the AFCON and Ukubega Laishia corner because class is permanent. This is second nature to him. And Umagaman uh, coming in, uh, he was advancing going forward, Bashimu Selemu Vagabu, which now allowed Umukwena. Remember, Dogi, mm. uh, in the Afcon Besisho City, Umukwena Managaga Shaila Mashotua. Mm. Mm. And that's what sees or Kubega now. Mm. And so far, this could have been his third or fourth shot in the match. He hit one and he didn't get it right. Guna yeah. mm. Shaila, yeah, Shaya, a top corner yana. But a goal keeper, if we kick white team, and there was yeah, no yeah, corner. Yes, and was the no other corner. one was shy, but you could keep a corner hang of it. And this one also, he's been knocking because it's part of him. It's in his DNA. He knows as a, a number eight, and, and he's not a six. He's an eight because he does box to box. Uh, box, -box man yeah. being able to supply him with that, and he takes a shot. He's well aware of where he is. And quality players are the ones that are able to give you quality actions over and over, especially when fatigue hits in. That's mm. what Mkwena gives mm. you. Mm. And we must also give credit to Zegba there with that save. Yeah, no, definitely you have to because uh, Al Shawang is a player. A player or Pete in Mondo in terms of Obonile the position guy keeper. And with the keeper, like I said, was it Apollos or Reynas? La I shoot the first ball here. Apollos. Pega Utebuko Uyanza outside the D line. We are Kela. In fact, in football language, because that killer, it can only happen if you're smart and you don't want to kill the keeper. So look at it there. And a first Boom. time. First touch. Ne? Ne? Yes, it is. But then again, the technique called keeper, obviously, you go with the right in order to, to, to make a save. Look at that. Boom. Good save. 
very good save and that was in the 88th minute where Utebo Khomokwana beka sathi mhlambu uyazama ukubuza imbuzo kodwa uzekuba wakwazi ukuphendula ke lona and with this draw 3 all this is Bafana Bafana's 87th draw since 1996 but more than anything else we love that we've been given a spectacle of skill of determination and pursuit of pride coach Hugo Bruce and his troops the performance they've put out here today certainly one that will put down in the books I guess Tati careful so you can get that. Since archery returned to the Olympic Games in 1972, South Korea have won 27 out of a possible 45 gold medals. In Tokyo, Korean athletes won four out of a possible five golds, with 20-year-old Ahn San winning three of them. With a recurved bow, each archer fires 72 arrows at a target 1.22 meters in diameter, with circles numbered from 1 to 10, for a maximum score of 720. For 2024, the archery will be staged at Les Invalides, an historic military complex in the heart of Paris that includes the tomb of Napoleon Bonaparte. Last season, they showed us a whole new face to English football. The same crest, emblems and colours you know and love were taken to a super level. Beautifully played from Hayley Ladd. All the heritage of the FA. Hard work from Jay, that was excellent. Now with new age super tackles, counters, last minute heartbreaks and sweet, sweet victory. And Kerr, that is brilliant. These are the heroes of England from London to Manchester. These are superwomen in their own league. The edge of the box and it goes. What a goal from Leah Goldson. This is the FA Women's Super League. Oh, bit of beauty from Heath again gets her second. Catch all the action of the FA Women's Super League this season on SABC Sport Channel on DTT, Open View Channel 124 and S3. Also available on Telcom 1. SABC Sport is the home of football and we love it here. Citizens of the Republic of South Africa, from the ages of 18 and above, it is a six-goal thriller that we have just witnessed. And as we mentioned earlier on, the last time we saw a six-goal thriller involving Bafana Bafana was in 2020 against Sao Tome Principe. There, South Africa managed to secure a 4-2 victory. Temba Zwane in with a brace in that clash. And from this match day squad, Yana Mklanj, it's only Temba Zwane, Ronwin Williams, as well as Tabelo Morena, who were part of that team back in 2020. So it's lovely to see the progress that this team has made. And as we speak about progress, what are the key takeaways for Coach Hugo Bruce Gulom Mhlanje ahead of Lama qualifiers? Because yesterday we speak about they were able to hold their own, they were able to match an Algerian side. But when it comes to those qualifiers, it's do or die. Uh, we need to find more midfielders that have the appetite and mm. endurance, Yaga Debo to stay with the momentum because he's played 90 minutes and he doesn't drop. He keeps that same uh, energy. We need to be able to say, when we score a goal, how do we still win the game? How do we maintain? And I think also from a coach to say, when he takes out Uzwane, he needs to bring in an equally capable player, depending on the game, game, the momentum. You know? And I think uh, also the, the organic relationships that we are seeing, they are coming well. So for me, it's been great. It's been great, and it's been great for us too. Thank you so much, Coach. Always lovely to have you. <laughs> Coach Dr. Theophilus Kumalo. <laughs> Always lovely to thank have you, you too. <laughs> Ningis of Africa, thank you so much for tuning in this evening, going into morning. A good morning to you. Isn't it lovely to just see us so bright and early in the morning? Ningis of Africa, from myself, Ovosiwe, Indogazewa Ngobo. Coach Sipiwe Lulu, Dr. Theophilus Kumalo, and the rest of the team. Until next time, be blessed and stay blessed. <laughs>